they tantalize. They tantalize, right? Tantalize. They tantalize. They tantalize. They tantalize. They tantalize. Stay tantalize. Stay tantalize. Stay tantalize. Stay tantalize. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the YouTube champion, Lance Tony. Guys, a little bit of a technical difficulties. Um, I messed up the stream for um, Instagram, so Kira is fixing it as we talk right now, and I think she's doing it. And bear with me, guys. Uh, yeah. So yeah. What's up, everybody? Happy Monday, everybody. I blew it. Let me try it. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, YouTube champion, Tana Lance and Tony. And Kira's trying to go live any second now. Is there a problem? Uh, no, you could just talk. <laughs> there we go. Have to wait for that. And now we're live. Sorry, guys. I, I get overwhelmed sometimes. Kira is producing from the other side, and she's actually editing. Other Are you going to be on the show? Yeah. I want to need you. Guys, just for the record, I cannot do this show without Kira. <laughs> it's almost impossible. Um. So, hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? Kira does roll call late. But I don't do it like that. I do it as soon as I see you guys. And my daughter Jasmine's here first. So, yeet. Hassan, what's up? Grace, what's up? Janelle, what's up? So, tonight. Tonight. Uh, on this very show. Uh, hit the likes. We got a special guest. Uh, yes, we do. Special guest tonight. Um. This dude is, um, I consider him a friend. I guess I can say he's a friend now. Um, from, um, sorry guys, I'm trying to still fix a few things because I don't know how to produce this show like Kira does. There we go. Here we go. So, Edge of Philly Sports is a publication, a website that, let me show you the website. Actually, let me share it with you guys. So, um, there we go. Edge of Philly Sports is a website, as you can see, and here is the uh, actual um, link to it, so you guys could check it out. It's a website that covers sports in the Philadelphia area, and um, they cover basketball, as you can see, baseball, Kings versus Sixers tonight. That's a good matchup. Um, and as you can see, of course, hockey, football, baseball. But look right here, guys. The WrestleMania Weekend Guide. A roadmap to all the events. So, um, I just clicked on it. There we go. Look at this. They're showing everything where stuff's going on. WWE World. That's what, look, H2O on Monday. Oh, we might go check that out. Tuesday, Becky Lynch book signing. Oh, Barnes & Noble. Hmm. Wednesday, April 3rd, Labor Love. Sean Henderson presents Russell John. Mike Bailey's fight, entertainment spectacle, WrestleCon. Of course, I'll be there. Of course, the Cream Mania. Oh, is that ice cream? Mm, delicious. Circle in the NFC main Mania kickoff. Um, Defy can't deny the GCW, of course, and of course, World on you know the whole deal there. It's crazy. Um, all Caribbean wrestling. Oh wow, 12 p.m. There's a lot of stuff to go to. Love and labor, as you can see. Monster Factory, Stardom, Josh Barnett's Blood Sport. It's going to be a great, great um, time, WrestleMania week. And Edge of Philly Sports, they cover it all. So tonight, tonight, uh, we got a special guest, guys, um, from Edge of Philly Sports. I definitely call him a good friend. I do it. I do. Call him a friend. Joey P. Wood's going to be on tonight, guys, from Edge of Philly. And he is going to be covering WrestleMania. He's actually um has press credentials and will be, back, be backstage, which is awesome. So Joey will be on tonight. But before we get to that, there's somebody in the chat, a good friend of ours, a good friend of the shows. You guys know him. His name is Anthony Blackwell. Um, I know his show starts. Anthony, did your show? Let me, let me, let me call him real quick. 
Let me see if he's answering. One second, guys. Yep. Is your show live yet? Uh, um, I'm, my, I'm having computer issues. I'm trying to get it going. Oh, okay, I was going to tell you to jump in real quick, but since you, you guess you can't. Um, yeah, send me, send me a link. I'll see what I can do here. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at a frozen screen right now. Gotcha. We'll see you one real quick. Um, all right. So let's get Black Bull in here real quick because let him make the announcement himself. Um, but yeah, let's say hi, everybody. Um, what's up, Thomas Aker, the two-time, two-time cancer survivor, my good friend, the lovely Dahlia Pacheco who got her merch. I know she got it. Um, hopefully she posts something and tags me. Cool gamer, what's up, guys? We are literally um. What are we, 13, 12 days away from WrestleMania, right? 12 days. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, less than two weeks from all the festivities in um, Philadelphia. It's going to be incredible. I, guys, Mania Club's doing stuff. Let me put Mania Club with you. Guys, it's a lot of stuff going on for WrestleMania. Um, in case you guys are not familiar with Mania Club, here's the Mania Club site on Facebook. Here's their link. If you have are not part of Mania Club, join Mania Club. It's um a big deal to be in that group. They have a lot of things going on. Um, fill out the questionnaire and tell them that you are part of the Nation of Tantalization and Tantalize and Tony sent you. And trust me, you get immediate access to Mania Club. And um, it's incredible. Mania Club is a great, great um. A great thing, a great um club to belong to. This is the tailgate, seventh annual, um, April 6th and 7th at the live casino hotel. It's gonna be incredible. Um, 21 and older. Oh, thank you, Dahlia. Please post just because I want people to see that, you know, because we have a problem with merch sometimes. People don't they they claim they don't get the merch. I know you got yours. Kira me trust you, but you know, we don't want no smoke. But yeah, please join me in your club, guys. Um in the meantime, while we wait for Anthony to come and our guest Joey, let's get to tonight's card, everybody. Let's get to it. Guys, you know where we are tonight? We're in Chicago, the home of this guy. CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. Come on, man. What else is it? What else is there to say? So a lot of things went awry with the um with the um the um injury to CM Punk. And it sucks, but I called this months ago. I think CM Punk should be the guest referee for Seth and um, Drew. Wouldn't it be something if Drew, if he had to count the three his three shoulders for for Drew? But wait, enough of that. Let's let's get let's get out of here. Let's get let's get this guy in here. This this is my 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 co-host for for a little while for a little while, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Blackwell Jr. in the house. Uh oh, we lost him. And he was going just like that. He's having connection issues, guys. Um, but in case you guys um, didn't know, I wanted him to announce this himself, but we'll just wait. Maybe he'll get back. Yes, Drew is definitely going to interrupt CM Punk, which is great for business, you know? And guys, if you don't, if you're not part of Anthony Blackwood Jr.'s uh, channel, here's his link. Subscribe to him as well. There you go. Guys, you know, this community we belong to together is awesome. I love all you guys. I'm so glad we're all part of this together. But let's get back to the main thing now since um Blackwell got terrible service right now. Not he's um something's wrong with his computer. But um hold on guys. So what else we got going on tonight? Give me one second. So, of course, I said CM Punk is going to be in the building, right? Drew will surely interrupt. Shusuke Nakamura versus J uh, Jey Uso. Do we get an interruption from Jimmy, the solo? Do we have some bloodline thing going on? Let's try this again. Let's try for ABJ one more time. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Here we go. And boom. Oh, is my volume down or is your volume down? 
There it goes. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Go. It is a mess over here. My computer is not cooperating with me at the moment, but I appreciate you for having me on real quick. Yeah, real quick, because I don't like you that much, and I don't want you to be taking up my whole airways. So <laughs> you had a milestone today. What What? what I happened? Did, I did. And I did it before WrestleMania 75, so suck at analyzing, Tony. <laughs> yes. Guys, the curse has been be, lifted. <laughs> the curse has been lifted, ladies and gentlemen. In case you can't see this, Anthony Blackwell Jr. beat the. Uh, you know what? I should take credit for this 1K because I put the curse on you, and and you and you you exercised the curse. I did. I did. Guys, can you I hear have that a guest says? coming up that they 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 did exactly what a guest should do and how someone should support someone when you're on your show. They went above and beyond and shared out the channel and stuff. They have over like six hundred thousand followers on TikTok. They're a big social media influencer, and they agreed to do the podcast. And they went hard on their their, their pages and saying, like, I'm going to be on this podcast. Go check it out. And they're not even in the wrestling business. They're just social media influencers. And they're really, really cool. So uh, they, they helped put over the, the thing. I, I, I was at, like, 9.50, and I, I jumped to 1K in, like, three days. There it is, man. See? Yeah. You deserve it, bro. I appreciate um, that. I'm, I'm grinding. Also, um, it, I kind of got hit all in one time. Uh, not only did we hit the goal for uh, the – um 1k subscribers but also today as of this morning i was ranked 132 in the in the united states for a wrestling podcast on apple podcast charts so we are trending oh, wow. in the right direction when it comes to the audio side only as well as the youtube channel so it's uh it's exciting exciting times that's awesome what number is that uh 135 so I gotta make sure I come come for your numbers now. <laughs> <I gotta come laughs> your numbers now. No, man. Look, I want to tell you this. Everybody knows our sordid history, and you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can honestly say I texted this to you a little while ago. I'm so glad we're cool again. But honestly, and this is real talk, man. And one second, Alex Johnson. Um, we'll keep you on in our prayers. We we were so sorry about that. Um, I'm so proud of you. Number one. Appreciate that. And I'm happy for you. Because you deserve it. Um, no, check that. You've earned it. You work hard. You know, we don't do the same kind of content, but I know how passionate you are about your stuff and how much you love what you do. And you're damn good at it. I mean, I, I honestly can say that I've, I've listened to a lot of podcasts. I watch a lot of wrestling. I think your interview skills are up there top notch with like the guys who do it and making big money. I don't know what the issue is. Like guys like us haven't made it yet, but that time is coming. But I'm telling you, bro. I'm so I'm so honored to be part of your thing too. So kudos to you, my bro. I appreciate that. And if you're first, if you're new to the thing, I know there's people out there saying what's well, the name of the podcast and stuff. It's called the ABJ Podcast. It's on all major podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple, Google, the whole nine. Um, also, it is available uh, on YouTube, so you can go and physically watch them. And I do them live. But uh, essentially, my mission statement is I want to be it, it, like the independent artist version of chris van vliet or the independent artist version of the joe rogan podcast except not really talk about all that other stuff but it's essentially just trying to give people a platform to talk about their art and their passions and their stories but maybe not joy's facilities and it's not easy to grow when you uh are, are talking to a kid who's three months into his wrestling career rather than chasing someone who's on tv you know right and listen just so you don't know if you know but you're having connection issues i know you're having problems over there don't know what's going on but um, just wanted to say thank you. You can get the hell out now. I don't want you here anymore. So, yeah, yeah, I'm about um, to start off my stream as well. So feud, everyone have a feud, great stream. Enjoy my feud, night, Raw. Feud's back on. I can't stand Shun, shun over. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> that was Black everybody. Um, Brendan, I'll get you the link. Um, I'll get you the links. Check them out. When my, when the producer gets here, Kira, she'll get the link. She'll get the link for the Tantalizing Podcast, the Tantalizing Tad Podcast as well. We haven't done our podcast yet. But we will be taping tomorrow. We had some things going on. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm texting somebody very important. Anyway, sorry, guys. Um, what's up to Richie in the chat? Um, yes, hit those likes. So let's get back to the, the thing. We get so many distractions. Anthony Bible gets a thousand. Oh, he goes crazy. Woohoo! A thousand subscribers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brendan, thanks for smashing the like. Philly did get 10 lives over the weekend. You know, we got, if you guys saw, but we, me and Dolph Ziggler, 
Nick Nimitz had a little bit of um we had a little bit of uh interaction together in case you guys didn't see it. Let me see if I can play it real quick for you guys. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I don't need to put the volume up for you guys, but give me one second. Here we go. Really quick. I called him over. I'm saying, Nick, come over. Let's talk to the fans. That's right. So I called him over and he starts talking to everybody. Which is awesome. So after that, he went through the whole crowd and talked to everybody. Um, did the Sandman thing, drink the beers. And yes, Bobby, yes, Bobby and Ruta and Kira reviewed some steaks, some steak things. I'll actually play that one for you guys. How much time we got? We got a little while. Um, let's see if I can find this one. Hold on a second. Where is it at? Oh, cheesesteak review. Here we go. Well, I'll share the let me share the volume with you guys. Present, share screen. The producer's not here, guys, so it's hard for me. I apologize. All right, here we go. So we're gonna share this. Um, make this bigger. And what's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the YouTube champion, Tantalaz and Tony, here in Philadelphia. You guys know that WrestleMania is two weeks away, so we're gonna do the taste test for cheese sticks. So we got Gino's here, we got Pat's here. Pat's this is the best, baby. Here we go. This is cool. There's Ruda, Mr. Ruda. Oh, it's Whit. Right? Oh, it's Whit. Exactly how I remember it. And Bobby could wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give me your, your honest opinion. I grew up loving that. I, I, decided, I decided to dabble and try Gino's. It was so cold outside. Gino's, my vote, more flavor, tons of cheese, tons of onions, tons of steak. Oh, it's so good. Tons of flavor. Tons of cheese, tons of onions, tons of steak. Seasoning. Mm -hmm. For me, my vote goes to Pat's. Yeah. For me, the cheese and the steak was better. The uh, ratio was better. Gino's is good. I loved it, but just a little too much onion. You went back for Pat's. I did. <laughs> I did indeed. No matter where you go, Pat's or Gino's, it's a win win. They're basically they're across the street from each other. They're so both championship material. So there you go, guys. Championship material. Um, and thank you to Ruda and, of course, Big Bucks Bobby and, of course, the producer Kira who put that all together. Um, here's the thing about WrestleMania 41. I have some friends that live out there, so that's great for me. I'm not getting a hotel. I'm staying with them. But I wanted Vegas because my son lives in Vegas. So I'm a little disappointed. But good evening to my good friend, Les, um, local pro wrestling, guys. Check him out. I will. Oh, his link's in the description. You guys know that. Anyway, um, a lot going on tonight, guys. I got a lot going on. So let's get back to the matter at hand. Um, so we talked about this, right? We talked about Shinsuke Nakamura. Hey, I, and I did not eat it. I did it. I'm still on my diet, guys. I mean, I'm doing good, like you won't believe. Like the thing is this: when you're short, people think you're fat. I'm really doing. I'm really in good shape. You know, I mean, I gotta. You know, um, I definitely gotta drop some pounds, of course, to make myself look a little more built. But I'm doing great. Shinsuke versus Jey Uso. Um, wow, this is great. Um. Bronson Reed versus Sammy. Sammy needs this underdog thing to build him up for Gunther. Ivy Nile versus Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae just went straight heel. Triple G. I don't know about there being a Cody segment tonight. I think that's a mistake by not doing it, but we'll see. Judgment Day, man, JD, McDonough going against um, Ricochet. And, of course, guys, don't forget, WrestleCon Weekend. WrestleMania weekend, excuse me, WrestleCon, Victoria Crawford, formerly known as Alicia Fox, is with me, your boy, the Tantalizing Tony Wrestling Show. She will be with me April 5th, 6th, and 7th, signing autographs, selling merch, cutting videos, talking to people. It's going to be great. WrestleMania, guys, we're right around the corner, man. Right around the corner. Can you believe how quick WrestleMania came? I just remember, I remember like it was yesterday when Cody lost, you know? And don't forget tonight, Joey Wood will be on the show from Edge of Philly Sports, a bona fide journalist on the show. We're stepping our game up. We're going next level. Last week we had Josh on from um recap, recap, relive. I forget the name of the show. You know, I, I concussion. But we had Josh on. 
He'll be back. Joey's coming on tonight. He's he actually has press credentials for um for WrestleMania, which congratulations to him. Um, a lot of people got him. He actually deserved them. So there you go. Um, Brendan, you know what? You're not wrong. I got a feeling that they're gonna pull out all the stops. Take her stone cold, Cena, um, Hogan, maybe. Who knows? Do we get a sting sighting? Don't know. Don't know. But Joey Joey Wood will be on tonight. All right. We got some time. And I don't worry, guys. I'll be tomorrow. I won't be squinting anymore because my new glasses, my new Oakleys. I paid the big ones, guys. I got my Oakleys coming. I'm gonna be able to see again because I can see. I know my boss might be watching, but I can see nothing out of this eye. So here's my here's my peripheral vision with the left. I see it right here. I can see that with my with my left eye. Right? Ready for the right one? There it is. <laughs> yes, yeah, bad. It's bad. I got a traumatic cataract. I got hit in the eye and I got some damage there. But you know. All right. While we get some time in the chat, we still got five minutes. Let's let's get to let's get some chat. Let's see what's going on here. Brendan says calorie count 2,500 calories a day, no less plenty of walking. Thank you, bro. And I'm definitely under 2,500 calories. I I had today I had a turkey burger, some avocado, and some spinach. And then for dinner, I had some string beans. <laughs> I had some beans. It was, it, it was good. It was delicious. It was delicious. So don't you guys be worrying about me. I know people are worried. Tony, you're not eating enough. You're not going to make it, guy. You're not going to make it to WrestleMania because you'll be malnutritioned. Grace, I had some beans mixed with some, you know, cilantro and some um, um, um some green beans. Some, you know, a friend of mine made it. It was delicious. The, the, the deliciousness was 10 out of 10. So, yeah. Let me ask you in the chat real quick, okay, since we got four minutes. What WrestleMania match are you looking forward to? Oh, I forgot to send this to Joey Wood. Listen, every, people worry about the 10 lives of one. As many people as as hate me, there's many people that love me too. Guys, let me tell you something. At Philadelphia, at the uh, ECW arena, I got some hate. <laughs> let me tell you. I am the I am the person you don't have to worry about. But I got some, I actually, with some of the hate, I got some good feedback about, hey, man, your energy excites the room and people are nervous. Nervous about what? I'm not coming to hurt nobody's stuff. Humble says WrestleMania 40 is going to be whack. Wow. You think so, Humble? Really? Okay, guys, we got four minutes until showtime. But you know what? It's time for that special guest. Ladies and gentlemen. All the way from the heart in the streets of Philadelphia. From, yeah, Edge of Philly Sports, guys. My man, Joey's in the house. Yo, what? What's up? What's up? Great being here on the show tonight. Number one, where'd you get that shirt? This shirt I actually made it myself. You do merch? Uh, I just started, actually. I got a printer on uh, Friday night, and I'm making shirts now. Should have talked to you, bro. Should talk to you. I have some merch issues. We'll talk later. But yeah, this is my merch right here. You know, Kira did the design, but had some problems getting them, getting them delivered. But anyway, um, Ruta says, "What's up? What's up? What's up? Nice to be here today. Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for having me." So, Joe, Joey, tell. Do you want Joe or Joey? What would you rather? Joey, Joe, whatever you prefer it does not matter to me. Well, Joseph, let me explain. No, so listen. <laughs> First of all, thanks for being here. No, I appreciate it. I remember, I remember. I mean, the first time I met you, I think, was at a Battleground show years ago, like possibly like pre-pandemic, I believe, actually. You were out, outside on the uh, in the street when everyone was lining up. You had your little uh, GoPro, and you were interviewing people in there, and you gave me out your card, and I've been following My you ever GoPro. since. GoPro, you went back. Jeez. Yeah, it was a while. Yo, I haven't used the GoPro in at least two years, so wow, that's great. Yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a while, and I've been following you ever since. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, listen, tell people what you do and what your you know what your website is. 
Yeah, so Edge of Philly Sports, it's uh, a 4 for 4 Philly sports site. You know, 4 for 4 meaning they cover all things Philly. Phillies, Flyers, Sixers, Eagles. They do a little bit of lacrosse. Um, I jumped on this year and said, hey, WrestleMania is coming to the city. You need to start covering. It's going to be huge. So I now cover wrestling for them. We have live podcasts weekly. And we also have a website at edgeofphillysports.com. We have articles where we post stuff, and you can check out my articles on there. Anyone that needs a list of where to go Mania Week, I have a list on there. Um, my, my Right there, that article right there, the guide, it's a list. I, I was up to 65 different shows and counting. So check it out if you need to know where to go on Mania Weekend, where to go, what time, everything like that. Yeah, before you came, we went through a few things. Up, so if you're in the area for WrestleMania weekend, and look, even if you can't afford WrestleMania tickets because they're steep and you're not going, there's a lot of cool shows that are affordable that you can go to. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, last I checked, like, Mania is up to, like, $900 a ticket just Listen. to get into the door. I don't think I've ever remember prices being this crazy. It's crazy. I told people from last year, buy it, get your tickets right away because it's going to be a problem. And shout out to the first lady, Chrissy, who's been here from day one. I love you, Chrissy. Thanks for always being here. Um, but there's so many different events to go to. Like, it's crazy. If you love wrestling, this is the weekend to be in Philly. And look, guys, there's a lot of watch parties too. So if yeah, you don't have sure. the if you, yeah, if you don't have the tickets to Mania, it, 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 it's a little disappointing, but there's big watch and there's people, there's like superstars. Former WWE superstars, there's Impact stars, there's ECW stars. They're doing a, a they're doing a watch along at the ECW arena. Yeah, I just party. I just seen one that there's a uh, Dave and Buster on Delaware Ave. Um, Riddle's doing a watch party at the at Dave and Buster's. See, so there's so many places to go to, guys. So you know, just um remember that. And guys, it's eight o'clock. So Joey's gonna hang out for as long as he wants to. We're gonna watch Raw. You can be as LeBro. You're the guest for the night. If you got to leave, I get it. I know you're a busy, man. But we're here until till Raw goes off the air. So, you know, and during the show, we'll talk about stuff. We'll talk about your what you do, how you became a wrestling fan. And, you know, this this is a laid-back show. Um, it's about having a good time, man. The wrestling community is a great place to be a part of. Sometimes it can be cutthroat, as you well know. Yeah. Um, the business is tough. But respect to you for even coming on during your busy night, man. Really, really glad to see you. And I appreciate you sending me the offer. Like I said, we were at uh, Impact this weekend together and uh, made this happen. Yeah, man. Look, bro, uh, you got to love people who love the business. And like I was telling Ruta this the other day or well, today, there's a lot of people who just don't get it. Um, yeah. This is a business that let's let's pull the curtain back for a second. Guys, this sport is a predetermined sport where there's title belts like this that are props that are just you know yeah. they pick who the they pick who the champion's gonna be you know Hold on one second. don't mind me tony i'm just trying to no, put roll on real fast no you're fine so for people to get upset that other people are like trying to get their shine and hate on other people it's just the dumbest thing i've seen in my life so i'm just i'm just glad to see there's somebody who is um positive about the business so joey like i said thanks bro look at now, the flashbacks of the shield wow <laughs> no, nah, I I mean, I love what you do, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you bring energy, like you said, positivity. Because th there are a lot of great people in this community, but there's also a lot of, I'll just go out and say a lot of haters um, who try to talk down on people and, like, you know what I mean, think they're better than someone else. And you, you've you never been like that. That's why I respect you and I am a frequent viewer because, you know what I mean, you welcome everybody. You're always happy, upbeat, no matter what it, no matter what it may be. No, and I appreciate that. And, like, you know, look, I was disappointed I didn't get picked for the press conference. I was very disappointed. But I still was happy for the people that got in. Maybe it'll be me next time. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm still I'm still salty. I ain't gonna lie. I'm salty about it because I think I deserve to be there. And I didn't get picked. I get it. It wasn't – it's not my It's not my decision. But for everybody that made it, God bless them. And, and, and congratulations for working on it and getting that for everyone. If you noticed – I congratulated you. I congratulated everybody that made it that you that uh, that's affiliated. So I'm not a hater, bro. A lot of people hate me. I I I don't get it, but I do at the same time. But you know, people don't might not know my backstory. I've been in this business for 31 years. I'm a former professional wrestler. I wrestled all over the country. I'm a former champion in um in, in Pittsburgh United States Championship Wrestling. I wrestled in ECW. Um, 
I'm one of the, I'm, I was at the first Raw. I was at the first WrestleMania. I go back. I'm 55. I challenge anybody to have the energy that this 55-year-old, <laughs> soon to be 56, has doing what I'm doing with these young guys out here who are killing the game. So I'm just – I'm here for the ride, bro. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with you. And I, and I And I tend to – I'm kind of in a different avenue in terms of – what what I do, I, I do do a weekly podcast, but we do mo- more just kind of interview some wrestlers, and that's about it. We don't really do the watch along. Uh, and then I do more of the actual articles where I, like, I'll just type up some stuff. Like, for example, I have an article coming out with the next couple of days where I polled everyone on my uh, in my Edge of Philly sports group what was their favorite match uh, in WrestleMania history. So I'll have that coming out soon. Let me ask you that. What was your favorite match? So I'll tell you one second. I'm supposed and I and the, please forgive me for not sending you my 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 clip. Totally slipped my mind, even though I've been so busy. But my favorite match of all time, because I'm old school and because I was there, WrestleMania three, Pontiac Silver Dome, Dome Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Oh yeah, the Multimeter Randy Seven. Yeah, dig it. My so all time favorite match. So that's actually the most picked match. That that would you've been the third person that picked that match, so that was that's pretty funny. You said that, bro. That that match created the false finish. The reason why you see the false finish is today is because of that match. Even though that match was um, choreographed by Steamboat and Savage, move for move, like there was nothing called on the fly. Savage was such a stickler for, okay, now we do this, and he was and and I and Steamboat was on my show. I interviewed Ricky Steamboat. And he told me he told me this whole story on how it was how it was broken down. Um, he t- speaking of Steamboat, he told me that his greatest his greatest rival, of course, is Ric Flair, but his favorite match is um, Randy Savage. So, mm-hmm. um, which is incredible. And Steamboat's my dude. It was my dream. To, it was my dream to um to interview him. And we got Cody's in the ring. It was this is impromptu Cody on on the Rawton. I didn't know he was even scheduled. Yeah, he's a. He's a huge name not to announce that he's going to be there tonight. That's, that's a bonus for us. We got CM Punk. I thought CM Punk might start the show, but no. Yeah, I, I think you'll see him around that 10 o'clock hour, you know, that that viewership yeah. hour. Let me ask you a question. I had this question on my sure. show last week. and Do you feel like the hype of Cody and Roman and Cody and The Rock is taking away from other matches at Mania? Yes, I number one. I think the tag team match over, overshadows the main event. Number one, but that's what they want. That's orchestrated that way because they're they they future booking for Roman Rock. Because I still think they don't even know who's going to turn yet. Because what do you do? Do you turn Rock or do we make Roman a babyface? And does he still have the title? This close to catch your Hogan's record? Do you take the title from him? There's so many different things happening. But look, Cody's about to talk. Let's hear what he has to say real quick. And Joey, you're the coach tonight, so whatever question you have, feel free. Sounds good. Sounds good. So Cody getting a good response from the Chicago crowd, which is of course CM Punk Country. What do you want to talk about? I mean, I could, I could say, I could say nothing. What do you think about Cody's suits? You get it right. We're in that. that He's costing me some money. My son wants to dress up as Cody for WrestleMania, so I had to buy him a three-piece suit to dress up as him. So he's costing me a little bit of money. But I, I like yeah. it, you know? I like it. You, everyone's got something. Brock had the uh, track suit, so Cody got the suit. I like it. Right. Last week on SmackDown. Well, even before SmackDown, in his media rounds, Roman Reigns... I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. It's Roman so Reigns intricate. Lot, so many different turn, twists and turns with what's going to happen. Out. Yeah, remember, Hema said we're only in the bottom of the third, so we got a little ways to go with the storyline. Oh, yeah, man. Let me ask you a quick question. And this is everybody asks this question Does Cody finish the story in WrestleMania? All right, all right. I, I want him to, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's just so hard. Philly's gonna be a hard place not to finish the story. I'll say that. Listen, 
is Rocky Country, underdog. It's a great place to tell a story, but it's also a great place to break somebody's heart. Yeah. No, listen, this is what goes, this is what happens to me. I think that Roman's so close to, to Hogan's record, you got to give it to him. You got to give him to September. You got but what's but what's the and I keep hearing this, but what's Hogan's record? It's third all time. It's not like it's, it's Hogan's third. one. But but it would be modern era, would consider the modern era. People see people see Bruno San Martino and Bob Backlund, and like, oh, okay, that's back in the early 80s. That doesn't really count because you know, but Hogan, people still relate to Hogan because of the NWO and WCW coming back, Hogan versus Rock. So it's still considered this generation. I he think that if you give Roman that record, that it gives him that upper echelon. He's now one of the elite. He might be now. You ask the question: Does he go on Mount Rushmore? You know what I mean? Even without the record, I think he should. I mean, people. I don't think people realize just the amount of times he's main event at WrestleMania over the past 15, 15 years. Like it's just astronomical. This would be, this would be number eight, I believe. This would be the eighth time. And even Hogan doesn't have that. Yeah, I you just know? think I don't think we realize the greatness of him because we're currently in the moment. But when we sit back when he's done, I think people will finally acknowledge him. <laughs> acknowledge. Oh, he's, he's talking about going to this guy's wedding. You met. Yeah, I see that. That's that's pretty cool though for him and that guy to do that. Cody's just a great guy. Yeah. He asked, could the American Nightmare be there? I said, absolutely. The wrestling club, young men and women just trying wow. to get to WrestleMania this year. I respect year. what he did with them. That's a big deal. And I say this. Cody, can I, I get the rub? For <laughs> Cody, get Tony into the media. Let's go. That I do. Forget that. If, that's, if he's that range. good, he get me, get me special ring announcer or timekeeper or something, man. <laughs> At the tribal team for the Take over the green guy spot. Right. I, dress. I talk the way I talk. I walk the way I walk. I spend all this time. Out How here Cody reinvented himself is incredible. Oh, it is. He's 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 one of those guys that no matter what sport you follow, he's one of those guys you can show a kid and be like, if you believe in yourself and you invest in yourself, anything's possible. True story. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you think if Cody loses, will he still be as overall? People are like, oh, man, I'm done with him. Do you think people will bail? I think it depends how he loses. If it's a screw job, I think it's just another chapter in his story. If it's a clean loss, it's going to knock him down the pecking order a little bit. But I heard some people today talking about, oh, MJF was removed off the – a, 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 a AEW roster, like, what if he screws Cody? I mean, that to me would be incredible. If that does it, then you get that works perfectly because and it's if totally MGF is at WrestleMania, screws Cody, you have you the point. You can too. now focus on Rock Roman I mean, and Cody MGF and get Cody back to the promised land at 41, and people will buy it because. And Here comes MGF. Simple. That would be the talk of the of the, of the town. I yeah, mean. and you instantly establish MJF as a huge star. Oh my God! Yeah. So you say you know, humble is not a Cody fan. She is not a Cody fan, even a little bit. No, I agree with her comment. Like the way his his promos are all long and drawn out, he holds on to every word. I I think he's he's stuck in that '80s wrestler type of mindset, you know, which. Today feels authentic. I can't do it alone, guys. No, I get it. You know, I said, I said I the same thing to Howie. Howie, like, you know, he, he talks like back. Dusty, but doesn't have the Dusty charisma. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's, it's forced. The biggest tag team match in the history oh, of we got a caller. Hold on. And the world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins, against the tribal chief. Anthony, we're live on the show. The People can hear you. What's up? Oh, Will you that's ride bad. with me? Um, how much longer are you going to be on the show? For? You need me? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me get Kira in here and I'll take the call. Call you right back. When you're done, will you fight with me? Uh, I'll call you right back. Bye bye. Then I want to have a little moment here. Fifteen thousand strong. So, oh, if I'm Kira. This Kira, I'm gonna take it. So guys, I'm gonna I'm let Kira like take over for a second. That sign with me. Uh oh. Okay. What? Okay. Your game. Anthony calls him mercy. Seriously. 
something happened. So Kira, take over. But we let's go look. Let's do a quick commercial because I have one short and they're real short. So, um, guys, I'm gonna just do a quick little. Let's make believe we got a super chat. Hold on one second. <laughs> Means exactly what Thanks I said. Thanks for the Thanks super chat, super chat, baby. Ding, 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 ding. ding. The Hold on. I think I'm a little behind. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, it's The Rock. Hello, Mr. Joey. How are you? Hello. I, th I think my TV's a little behind. Is he live there? The Rock, yeah. Holy shit. Should I pause? Tell me. No, no, you're good. You're good. I caught up. Okay, wonderful. Whoa. Well, the rock is here. What what have I missed so far? The show started fifteen it, minutes ago. It's just been Cody. It's just been Cody. Cody? Kind of promo talking about what he's done and all this good jazz, and now it's the Rock, who again hasn't been advertised. Tony was talking about the Cody not being advertised. The Rock's not been advertised. Whoa. Yeah. The Rock, I mean, Dwayne, I like this vest. It's nice and buttoned up. It fits nice. You should you should keep this style going. I don't <laughs> like the, the bulky one. Did you see him? Someone asked him about the price he pays for these vests. And uh, he was like, I'm not buying the real ones. He's like, that's a flea market knockoff. You ain't catching me in those real vests. Come on. All the money you got. He is fibbing out of his hat right now. There's yeah. no way he doesn't pay full price. Yeah. <laughs> Dahlia says, why the heck is The Rock here? I assume you're trying to say. I don't know. Um, I would think since it's The Rock, and I guess since they advertised CM Punk and they already sold out, I'm pretty sure. They sold out like 25,000 tickets already. They didn't need to promote The Rock, so they could they could keep him as a surprise because they already got the, got the views and got the ticket sales from CM Punk already. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't start off with Punk. Yeah, I was saying to Tony, I think they're gonna hold off till the ten o'clock hour to uh, do Maybe. punk. They're definitely not gonna put him last after the first time he came back and they cut him off. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And it's funny they went with the smaller ring, uh, the f smaller stage setup this time. They fit even more people in there tonight. Yeah, so they had, they they had they um, I heard that they sold out and then they offered more tickets after they sold out. It's crazy. Insane. Here, here's here's the thing I don't like though. It's like again, it's Roman and Roman. I mean, Cody and Rock in the ring. Roman's nowhere to be found. No, it's another time they're making Roman look insufficient. A hundred percent. This whole time, I'm thinking about Roman and how that that last appearance that Rock was on that Roman wasn't. They said that Rock had made more appearances than Roman in 2024. That That's, is crazy to think that about. That is crazy to think about, but it makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, because he did the Raw with the uh, head of the table thing and stuff like that. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. What do you got to say, Rocky? I'm very – I don't – they're definitely going to have a match. I don't know when, though. You think a one-on-one -on -one match they're going to have? For sure. See, For I think sure. I, I think Rock goes face at – WrestleMania and helps, and if Cody does win, it's because of The Rock. Maybe they have it like after Wrestle, because I have a feeling that Rock's going to stick around after WrestleMania, after all of this is settled, and because Cody did call him out um, for a singles match. We're getting a holy leap chance right now. I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like the, I don't know how you feel, but I feel like the last couple of weeks these uh, networks have been a little too sensitive with their bleeping and their blackouts. I mean, there's times in the show where the entire screen just goes black, and no one, no one has any, any idea what's going on. Yeah, they they throw up middle fingers. I know in Australia they were throwing up middle fingers at Dom that blacked out the whole screen. They yeah curse half of the Rock's promos are like bleeped out. So either and they had the Rock. At, the die rocky die poster and they yeah. bleeped it out for like 10 seconds like come on mm -hmm. come on either they need to talk cleaner or wwe or these networks need to get a little more lenient with the guidelines or whatever it is yeah i mean let's not let's let's not forget fox has some some raunchy shows on there you know what i mean they have some some pg-13 shows on there mm -hmm. yeah this is awesome they've been standing there what are you here for? 
is he gonna make a match tonight? Is he gonna? I don't. If this match goes nowhere and they just say the same things that they've been saying for the past few weeks, then I'm a yeah. little disappointed. See, see, I think this match has been built so much already. Like we've heard, it's supposed to be four more matches announced. We need to start transitioning to get those matches on the table. It's starting to feel a little bit like an AEW pay per view build where. The last four matches are just going to be thrown on the week of, which is mm -hmm. not tradition for WrestleMania. Yeah. I think they said they want to have seven matches each night. They probably, I think they have like 10, 10, 11 matches right now. They have 10 total. They want 14 overall. So they have to announce mm -hmm. four within the okay. next two weeks. So we'll see. Well, I think for sure we get that Bianca, Gesture. Naomi situation. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping if as long as Asuka isn't really hurt because they're saying she was injured, mm -hmm. we do a six woman match. You know, uh, Naomi, Bianca, and uh, Jade versus Damage Control. That makes sense. That makes sense. Rocky just whispered something to Cody. I don't know what it was. I'm not very good at reading lips. It, it, it looks like. And he's leaving. So he whispered, he did all that just to say something to Cody. Not on a mic. And then leave. Hey, professional lip readers, I'm going to need you to tell me what he said, please. Because apparently this, it was important. What if this is a plant? Like, for when R Rock evidently turns on Roman, if whatever he said was trust me or something like that, mm -hmm. that like down the line this comes back and they're used this. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think they really have honestly, this is my opinion. <laughs> they're doing Rocky Sucks chance. This is my opinion. I don't think they have this whole story written out. I feel like they wait for like what the crowd's gonna say or like what the fans are gonna say on social media and everything, and then they determine what happens next. So right now. That could have been some gibberish they whispered in his ear. Yeah. He whispered in his ear. And then when they hear all the fan speculations, they're like, okay, I know where their head is at. Let's go this way. You know yeah. what I mean? I think they do do that now. I think initially they had a whole plan mapped out. And then mm -hmm. the crowd reaction was so opposite of what they thought that now they're doing what you said and they're just kind of going on the fly. Yeah. I, honestly, I feel like that's better. Rick Shea getting ready for his match against uh, J.D. McDonald. Hello, my wonderful sister, Jasmine. It's a gauntlet match, rematch. It's a gauntlet match? What? Oh, gauntlet match rematch. Oh, uh, okay. They did... Oh, they're doing Daniel Bryan. Oh. On Rivals, Daniel Bryan and The Miz. Wow. Hmm. Um, what was I going to say? That's interesting. I forgot what I was going to say. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he said, it looked like you said, tonight I'm going to make you pay. You, you think that's what Rocky said? You guys need to proofread your comments before you send them in. I cannot read past these typos. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one guess in the chat from what Rocky said. I have no clue. He didn't even, I don't even, I don't even know. He didn't even like whisper in his ear. He just said it. He yeah, because the, the mics would have picked it up. Could have yeah. used to say it loud enough. So he must have just definitely whip, uh, lipped it, whatever he was saying. Man, this is this is this is too much mystery. I need to know what's happening. I, WrestleMania is twelve days away. It's crazy. That, that's cr I saw that on the WWE site. Because mommy got a new shirt for WrestleMania. <laughs> so I was on the site. <laughs> I just got a brand new. I got one of the uh, the Mitchell and Ness button up jacket. Like came today. Actually, I was gonna wear it for the show, and then I put it on, and I'm like, this is this is too hot. This is I can't wear this. It's too hot. Yeah. But uh, they're coming out with too many shirts. I don't have that, and the shirts like thirty dollars a piece. I can't yeah. find, I can't do this. The, that they've definitely oh. gone gone out and and did all they can for the promotional pieces for this this year in terms of merchandise and they got some impressive ones like 
I don't. I'm not one for belts. I know. It's, look, looking behind you guys, love them, but uh, that the mini belts they did with the with the bell and the wooden plaque and stuff that mm -hmm. that almost made me buy. I was like, that's an impressive piece to have, like just to say you were part of history and stuff. Yeah, this I they are living up so far. They are living up to the biggest WrestleMania title that they've been thrown around. I'm very excited. Even though it's going to be a lot of work, we have so I didn't even realize how much the Tantalas and Tony show is like involved in mm. WrestleMania weekend. I don't even know where everything is. We go to Philly like almost every other week, and I still don't know where the convention center is to where the stadium is, how far everything is. It's it's gonna yeah. be. Are you gonna be driving to the stadium and stuff, or are you gonna be taking this public transportation? What are you gonna be doing? I don't know because I don't know about I don't know about like parking because we you know we have we have WrestleCon in the morning of one of of one of the of both WrestleManias and then we have our car for that but it's like filled with oh no we bought a hotel down there so you could just drop all the stuff I don't know there's just <laughs> yeah I mean I mean driving wise it's probably like. With traffic, it'll probably take you about 20, 25 minutes to get there and, and get into the actual place. I don't know how traffic's going to be, but uh, transportation, nice. yeah, it's going to be crazy. But uh, <laughs> like the subway is right there at 15th Street, which is right down the street from the convention center. And mm -hmm. then uh, you take the subway right to the stadium on the corner, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing that's staying in the center city. But uh, yeah. yeah, the good thing about Philly is it, you have a lot of options in terms of what what ways you're gonna go so but i i feel you I, I was like my wife was like i need you to sit down and map out your plans for that weekend and i started started doing it and i was like i don't know how i'm making this all work like i'm i'm trying yeah. to go to dcw and like do the collective and some of their shows start at 11 59 at night i'm like yeah i don't know how i also wanted to make the the gcw show that Shayna baszler is going to be on because i have a feeling that a lot of um, WWE superstars are going to be there just because Shayna is there, so might run into a couple of them, but I don't know. That's, that's up to Tony, Tony, because he that's said that Thursday at 4. Yeah. Yeah, and the I don't know. It's at 4 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, there's a show at there's a show at 11 on Thursday and then that show is at 4. Four or three, I believe it's four, and then there's another show at eight, and another show at eleven fifty nine, all at the same place. Well, th um, Thursday we have um, WWE World tickets, but I don't know. He bought the Cody Rhodes meet and greet ticket, but I don't know when the meet and greet is. Like what time it is? They didn't put that anywhere. Yeah, they didn't put any times out there in terms of schedule. I've seen that they have like a good schedule. With what they're gonna do, it they didn't put any times out there. I'm I'm excited to see what they're gonna have at this WWE World because it's it's not. I mean, twenty five bucks for kids isn't bad, but sixty dollars a day for adults. It's that's that's a nice penny for a convention. So I want to see what they're gonna do for the fans. What they're gonna have there? Yeah, and they have they have adult morning tickets and adult evening tickets. So you're yeah. gonna be there all day. <laughs> you got to pay one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that's crazy. Doesn't include the two hundred dollars to guarantee yourself a meet and greet. Unreal. And we got Pat McAfee with the Versace on. I wonder if that one is real. It does look real, but you never know. You never know, Pat. All the money he's making from ESPN. Walking past Jackie. You're gonna answer Jackie's question. What exactly did you say to Cody Rhodes out there? What'd you say to Cody? Is he going to... Oh. Go ask Cody Rhodes. Go ask Cody Rhodes. Oh, come on, Rocky. How rocky of you to say. Listen, I got to give him credit. He's been he's been on point as a heel. He... he he's get, I don't... I feel like he's getting there. He's finally getting there. In the beginning, I feel like he was a little rusty. Well, I was worried. I was worried how far of a heel he was going to go, you know, because he's so involved with Disney and so many good projects right now that the kids know him from that i was worried that he wasn't gonna really lean into the heel full force because of all those outside projects yeah but he's tying disney in he said the he said that you're um what can i say yeah 
because I'll no, he's integrating all the world. Judgment Day, everybody. It's Judgment Day. Just Mommy looks amazing as always. Let me ask you a question about them. You think uh, we're gonna see a Damian Priest cash in of whoever wins between Seth and Drew? I've been saying this since. Go win something. Yeah, JD, win the match. I've been oh, saying this off. since I he got the, the briefcase. I feel like, obviously, this is everyone who has the briefcase, right? You you got to wait for the right opportunity. I've always said, whenever that right opportunity comes, he's going to win, obviously. But I just can't predict when he's going to cash in. Like, I can't say it's going to be at WrestleMania because I don't know how battered and bruised these people are going to be now obviously seth and roman are both fighting both nights of wrestlemania so they're going to be pretty beat down so i feel like the smart option would be to go for seth after his drew mcintyre match mm. or even like because okay if drew mcintyre wins i definitely want him to hold on to it but Is that because you're a true fan want, huh is that because you want? Is that because you're a Drew fan? You want Drew to get a chance with the belt, or yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love. I would have loved Drew McIntyre to hold to have that title back at Clash at the Castle. But I'm I'm a diehard Judgment Day fan, so I I'm gonna need Damian to cash in and to win. But I feel like they're not gonna have Damian cash in on Drew because everyone wants Drew to be the champion. So if he cashes in on Drew, he might lose. So I don't want mm. that. So you gotta you gotta wait for the right time. I'm I'm scared for him. <laughs> see, I hope I hope Drew wins and Damian cashes in and wins because I want to see a feud with them too. We we got a preview of that a couple months ago, but I need to see a full term feud between those two. I think it would be really good. That would be really cool. And you know what? I feel like after Seth, WWE is in their history breaking era right now. So record breaking era right now. So. They have been doing these long title reigns and whatnot. I feel like when Seth drops his title, it'll be, it'll like, it's more realistic that the, the title's going to change a lot more than when the, when Seth had it. So if Drew does win, then m maybe, maybe he, maybe Damien cashes in like the day before or like the week before his contract expires and then wins it there. So I don't know. It all, it's all about timing. Yeah, no, no, I definitely agree. I definitely agree with you that the belts after Mania will probably move a little more just because they've had such long title runs right now, which we don't typically see. Yeah, it's insane. I'm getting I'm getting a little impatient. Not gonna lie. That's that's the one knock I still hear in WWE currently is um the times from the end of one segment to the start of the next. It's too mm -hmm. long. That's why the entire world hates it. Uh, yeah. Dummy Dom thinks that uh, he uh, brought everything I can see that. His career and his Mr. Woods, Woods have Jake you McDonough met Front Row Bill? Tonight. I have Who's not. Front Row Bill? Is that green shirt guy? That's I believe it is. I have not met him. Hopefully, maybe Mania. Try to, I know I know everyone asking that infamous question of how. How do you get that seat every show, every time? And I think he doesn't disclose that information, if I'm not mistaken. He's got to know somebody on the inside. He's got to. That's what I think, too. That's what I think. Because maybe. The same exact seat. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible not to know somebody. You, you can't get that lucky. You can't get that lucky. Okay, Ricochet. I love Ricochet. It's unfortunate that he's like a mid Carter. But I love it's so satisfying watching Ricochet fight or wrestle. Yeah, I mean I know I know he's getting probably making the best money he will out of any company at WWE. But you almost wish he'd go back to the independent scene just so you can see him regularly in some crazy matches. Yeah, my chair is stuck. I can't go any higher. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I saw the I think it was Ricochet versus Osprey. I mm -hmm. think Big Butts Bobby showed me that match because he's a he's a big Osprey fan. He was like, "This match is amazing," and that match was insane. I yeah. just, Ricochet has I I feel like Ricochet could be a really big star if he has like a personality, like a bigger personality, you know.
No, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I don't think I think he'd be a bigger star, and this is not trying to put one company over another. But AEW kind of doesn't need as big as the mic skills as WWE, so I think he'd probably thrive there a little more. But I definitely agree with you. Honestly, I would love to see Ricochet. Honestly, if Ricochet went over to AEW, I might just watch. <laughs> but you know what? When when AEW, since they have Sasha. I don't know if MJF is going back, but if they have Sasha, MJF, Britt Baker, Kenny Omega, Osprey, all in the same times time er- area, that show would be totally watchable. Mm. Those are just big stars. I think I have too many stars at this point. No, but they have they have stars, but they're not using either. They're not using them right. Or they're not using them. Period. There's only so much. I mean, there's only so much time. That's the problem. When you sign, when you sign everyone who becomes available, you only have so much time on a show. I think that's what they're coming into realizing now. They have three shows. They have two, four, five hours of wrestling each week. You're telling me you can't divide <laughs> your stars evenly throughout it five hours? It doesn't seem like they can. Week? They they haven't been able to yet. That's insane. I don't know what's going on over there, but they have the potential to be great. They were great. We used to watch them every week. I don't know what happened. No, I, I feel you with that. I used to be religious, watch them too. And uh, I fall, I've gotten back onto it, but I've fallen off a lot. Yeah, we only started doing watch longs again with, uh, with AEW because of Mercedes money. Mm. I don't even know if we're doing one this week, honestly. We might just wean off of AEW slowly. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's just... I I think they're realizing now that wrestling can only take you so far when you have five hours a week to fill. You can't just throw random matches on every week and expect fans to watch every week. Mm Because five hours hours is a lot of wrestling with not not any stories. Storyline for me is a really... This is so odd, but storylines and the crowd are really big um, components to a great show to me. That that if the crowd's not into it, I'm not into it. If the story's not there, I'm just like, what the heck is happening? Why am I watching this? Like it's just meaningless. No, I definitely feel you. I mean, the the crowd is definitely a huge factor, and then obviously, if crowd's big for you, then. I can see why you've fallen off of AEW because the f- crowds have <laughs> slowly fallen off. And, uh, it sounds like no- freaking crickets in there. <laughs> yeah. I think I think they have to stop being so prideful and start booking just smaller arenas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tony Khan doesn't want to do that. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure... I don't know how many they had at Revolution, but I'm... Sh- I'm sure one of the Raw or SmackDown shows have surpassed their Revolution population. I don't know which one of them. Probably this one, honestly. I don't know how many people they had. Yeah. The last show did good. Uh, where was it? That was because it was in Toronto. And they had they had uh, Edge versus Christian advertised or Adam Copeland. So that's why mm-hmm. they did that so well. Yeah. Triple H is all about the slow build slash payoff. I don't see quick title reigns. You're telling me we're going to have to sit through long title reigns with every champion? It's going to get old. No, yeah, I definitely agree. Especially now where everyone's already in the touch of their finger. You know, we're not in a world where long title reigns can last. People get tired too quick. Yeah, my attention span. So TikTok, my attention span has definitely decreased significantly. Yeah, no, I I think we forget how long Roman truly had the belt, but it's it's crazy to think about. Next Monday, Raw is the Raw in Brooklyn, which means we're that much closer to WrestleMania. I feel like I was just this year has gone so fast. I feel like it's just WrestleMania 39. Listen, I I agree with you because I feel like. Like I bought my tickets yesterday, and it was like, all right, now we have a long wait to wait for WrestleMania. And now it's like mm-hmm. the the sign on at Raw right now says one week from Saturday. Like that's mind blowing to me. Are you guys I going to the show in Brooklyn? 
Well, he's talking about doing it. Um, I think he might end up doing it if it's not sold out already. He might end up doing it because so The Rock is there. Once yeah. they announced The Rock is going to be there, he was like, I got to get on this. But um, he doesn't have anything to do. That's on the first. The second, there's nothing to do. So if he falls asleep, he doesn't need to get home early. <laughs> but the third, we, we got to be back by the third because we're going to Sam Roberts' show. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. He was, he was telling me about the Sam Roberts show because I was trying to tell him. Have you guys ever been to the um, the H2O Center in uh, New Jersey? Oh. We've been to an H2O wrestling show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's an event there on Wednesday night. It's called uh, Cream Mania. It's a... Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty crazy card. It's like got like a Effie on the card and stuff like that. But uh, I was talking about that. That's when you told me about the show you guys are going to Wednesday. You guys, I don't know how you do it. Your your schedule. He was telling me. I was like, and then and then the wild the wildest part is like I go to all these shows and I'm just like chilling, watching, like taking notes for my art. Tony is like energetic, like up recording, like like yeah. that man is getting a workout and he's still has like seven different shows planned. I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how it's possible. We'll see if it's possible when the dates come, but <laughs> I'm, yeah, whenever we go to a wrestling show, it's, it's we have fun watching it. I, I I love going to wrestling shows. I have a fun time. But I'm also record I'm also watching the show through the camera lens the whole time. Yeah. It was it, so it, funny it, this this past weekend on Saturday when I when I saw you guys, he uh he was like like he was talking to me in a full conversation, and then he goes, "Tell him about that." And you're like, and you looked at him like, "What are you even talking about?" I was watching the match. He was like, "What are you talking about?" And he was like, "Oh, you weren't paying attention." And you were like, "No, I'm watching the match." And I had me cracking up, and he was like, "Tell him about that time." And you're like, "What?" Yeah, it's all work. I had one second to watch the show, but whatever. I always have fun. Oh no, commercial break again. Listen. JD hasn't lost yet, so I'm Let's shocked this match has gotten two commercials. You know what? So am I. I just looked back and realized that Dom was still on the screen. I was like, "Oh my gosh, they're getting their time in." Yeah. I hope I hope JD wins. I really hope JD wins. He never wins. Like you can't be part of Judgment Day and not be a winner. Come on. Uh, I think every group needs that one guy who takes the pin. Or. They can all win all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know how you feel. I, I love the uh, the tag team match they have booked for WrestleMania. But I would love to have just had Judgment Day versus Miz and R-True straight up. That would have been really good. Obviously, I think we're going to get that um, face off in the ladder match. But it would have been fun to have like a full match with just them. That, that, that story alone was enough. Like... I know they're trying to give other people opportunities. I know um, because they're trying to build up their tag team division and like integrate more tag team and everything. But I just feel like awesome truth. And you know what? What if our truth hits his head in the match and then switches back to Judgment Day? <laughs> I would I would love that. <laughs> He's definitely gonna do something goofy during yeah. during the match. What it is, I don't know, but. Definitely, definitely going to be do something. I'm excited for that match. All the matches actually look great. Yeah. For what what match? Becky Lynch. I don't think she should be going against Mommy at Mania. Yeah. That's insane. Did you hear what she said today? She said uh, they were asking her like, "Do you care that you're not main eventing?" And she was like, "I don't care about main event. She's like, I actually rather go on first. So imagine mm -hmm. they open open WrestleMania with her. That'd be crazy. I saw that. I don't want them to open. I don't want them to open. I feel like the opening spot is is a really good spot to have, I feel, but like I feel like Rhea Ripley. I'm thinking about Rhea Ripley in this whole situation. I don't think she should be in the first match. <laughs> I think she should be nearing the end. Do you think she keeps the belt past Mania? Oh, yeah. yeah? Don't ask me any questions like that because I'm always gonna pick Jeffy Day. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. I, I think Becky Becky hasn't had the belt in a while, so I think it's the main belt. She's had the NXT title, but I think it's time for her to get the belt back. 
Becky can go feud with Bailey after she wins. Because <laughs> I feel like Be- Bailey is going to win that title off of EO for sure. Yeah, no, I agree. I think Bailey goes full full face again, and hopefully, maybe we get the hugger Bailey. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say how much I hate that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tantalizing Tony has been bringing it up. He was like, what if she comes out to her old music and she has the balloons? And I'm like, no. That place would go crazy. I hated it. It was too much. And then she brings up that that little girl with her, who's not a little girl anymore. Is he? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be mad if she came out to the old music, but no car dealership people. <laughs> no headbands and ponytails. She should just come out with a smile. And that's it. That, uh, that's it. That's all I want from the old um, from the old Bailey. So you don't, don't want, want the hugger Bailey? Colors. No. No. I don't know. I, Judgment Day has changed me. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I, I see what you're saying. Maybe... Maybe not that full blown like cartoon character again, you know. But the song definitely should come back. Maybe I I I, I, I I'll compromise. I, I'll say that the uh, the fl- inflatable car salesman, like you said, don't doesn't need to come back. But I think the music has to come back. Just that music hitting, or maybe it was like a mixture of our two songs. But that music hitting, I think the place would go insane. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ricochet's going up. Come on, JD. Don't disappoint me again. Yes, down with the save. Distracting the wrath. I love him. Oh, oh, no. Listen, I love... What? I love McAfee, but he, he confuses me too much. Like, he loves to rock, and then... But yeah, he's cheering for Ricochet, like... Typically, announcers got to pick a side. They're either for the faces or for the heels. You can't be that tweener as an announcer. <laughs> Listen, he likes the wrestlers. He doesn't like. He doesn't need to pick sides. JD, that was your moment. What? Oh my gosh. JD, Dom helped you out. He helped you out. What were you doing that whole time that the ref was distracted? My gosh. You know if I just thought it would be absolutely insane people would like riot? What if what if like CM Punk canceled Raw tonight and that's why they brought the rock out? <laughs> Chicago would lose their mind. No, they showed him they showed him walking to the arena or something. Oh did they okay. Mm-hmm. I love Pat McAfee drawn on the screen. Yeah, you know the He's new. I like the new walk-in TikTok that they've been doing. Yeah. I don't know who they have on their social media team, but they've been working. Yeah, they've they've been doing a lot of cool things, like the uh, the camera angle that they do, where they uh, they walk out of the gorilla position and walk down the ramp with the camera. That's a pretty cool that. sight to see. They've been doing a lot of good things. They they feel like they're finally use, using all the technology that's at their hand now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is, CM Punk holding the Cubs. You know you gotta, you know you gotta um, sell the merchandise, sell the sell the titles. Yeah, you gotta sell Chicago and CM Punk. Well, he's coming in the nine o'clock ish hour. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Did they say CM Punk's next? They said that. Yeah. I mean, I see it says next, but I don't know if they said CM Punk. Okay. Yeah. So what is, what's going to have planned for the rest of the show? If Punk's at 9, usually the biggest thing's at 10. Well, we could check Fightful. Hopefully Fightful mm-hmm. release the plans. Usually they've been slacking releasing the plans for the shows. You think they're not you think there's not a mole anymore giving them the uh inside oh, no, there's scoop? Still a mole. Yeah. <laughs> there's still a mole. They got the plans. Um it looks like a great show. Guys, I'm about to say the plans for tonight. If you don't want to hear what's happening and you want to be surprised, I suggest you turn the volume down and I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm done. So you got like five minutes to turn the volume down. Okay, wonderful. So, 
CM Punk is coming up next. They don't say the times. Usually, put they put like the times of how long it's gonna be, but whatever. CM Punk, and then Ivy Nile versus Candice LeRae, and then Jey Uso versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Mm-hmm. Then it's New Day versus DIY. Then it's Andrade versus Vinci. It was supposed to be Andrade versus Ivar, but Ivar is not medically cleared, so they switched it with Vinci. Um, so now both of them are hurt. That's a that's a lot of wrestling for a Monday Night Raw. We so, couldn't hear you. We didn't have our headphones on. I said, I said that's a lot of wrestling for a Monday Night Raw. Yeah, and there's more. So let me say this really quick. And first of all, thanks for everybody for being here. Please, I want to apologize to you, Joey. I had a family emergency. My son lives in Vegas, and it was a family thing that he was going through. He really needed me, and I had to, I had to handle some business. So, listen, I love this channel. I love wrestling, but my family always comes first. So my apologies. I, I, my apologies, especially to you. The nation, the chat, they'll be all right. They can deal with it. They know how I go. Sometimes I take naps during the show, so it's okay. <laughs> no, I respect that, man. I'm going to apologize to anything. I respect that. Family's always first. Just so you know, I was watching the show in the other room. Bro, we we can't even have to get him as a as a permanent coach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that match helped us out a lot, though. I'll tell you what, that was one of the best. JD doesn't get a chance to really show what he can do in the ring. That was one of his better matches he's had. Did he beat Did he beat Ricochet? No, he didn't. He lost again. Yes. Wow. Wow. With help, Dom even distracted the ref, and he still lost. Wow. Wow. What's up, everyone? Hello to everybody in chat. Make sure you guys hit. What's up, printer? Make sure you guys hit that like button. Share it, guys. We we are doing pretty good. We hit nine thousand about what? Maybe three? Maybe a little under three weeks ago, right, Kira? I don't keep track of that stuff. Don't keep track of you, Debron. You what's wrong with you? I don't you, have a book crunching numbers. Are you producer or not? What's <laughs> wrong with you? Um. So yeah, we hit th- we hit nine thousand about three weeks ago, and right now we're at nine thousand two twenty seven. So listen, we're not gonna hit. 10,000 by WrestleMania unless something miracle happens, but we get close, guys, and I want to thank you guys for helping. I think we're going to get there. You, you, what are we going to get, a viral video? It could. It, why are you saying it like it can't happen? Why don't you run into the ring and clothesline somebody? That will go <laughs> Young producer of a Tim Lines and Tony show drops Dana Brooke or something like that. Like, why don't you... It's Ash by Elegance. Oh, Ash by... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can we, can we just say real fast while we're on commercial break? Yeah. Like TNA got some great wrestlers, but some of these names that they come up with are just yeah atro- atrocious. Yeah, atrocious is right. Look, Nick Nemeth, that's his real name. I get it. Um, what is Connor's name in um TNA? Con or something like that? Like C O N, like K O N or something like that, or just like who? Yeah, Ash by Elegance. I don't get it. I like the gimmick. Yeah, but the name, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I and I could do it out, do it out that guy too. I don't know. Oh, the dude, yeah, yeah. You know what? They gotta give him. A, they gotta give him a valet. Make it more like um, um, Tony Storm. Tony Storm, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I feel like TNA does that too much, where they kind of do like the uh, the Audi, the Audi version too much. You know. Oh, you know what? Good question. When's episode three dropping the Tag Team Podcast? Three Two, weeks ago. Shut up. <laughs> Tomorrow. So. The reason we were gonna do it yesterday, and I had a, I had a terrible day. You, you guys want to hear about my terrible day in wrestling? Let me tell While you. While you're talking about your terrible day, I'm gonna go finish that short because I never got to finish it. You're leaving? I'll be right back. I only came in to see if I missed mommy. You're the worst. Mommy doesn't even like you. Oh well. Yes, she does. <laughs> yeah, so guys, hey, is she meeting mommy at WWE World? She's not. She met her once already. Listen, we got so much going on with Victoria Crawford. Um, that. Time is very limited on what we can do. You know, Thursday we're going to meet Cody. Um, Monday, Michael's going to meet Bianca. You know, my little guy because he loves her. But other than that, we're going to throw between Mania Club um, tailgate, between um, e- um, ECW um, block party, between, um, oh, my God, Suplex Ventures Wrestling's block party. There's so much going on, man. There's so much going on. Yeah, and shout out to Suplex because they're put on a great card so far. The first match, mm-hmm. Marcus Mathers and Nick Wayne is is a killer mm-hmm. match. And they just announced uh, Zeta Steel. 
which was is going to be a great match. So uh, they're putting together a good show so far for free too. Yeah, that's that's incredible. Did you see their? Uh, are you familiar with FDR Park right there by the stadium? Yeah. So there's a skate park in FDR Park. On uh on the fourth, there's actually going to be a No Rings event at the skate park in FDR Park. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. There's stuff everywhere in the city. Oh, you know what? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, it, we haven't it's been booked yet, but it's happening. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's true. It's not no, no it's, it's not a work. Um, that's not a bad idea. We're still trying to late trying to figure out the location. Local pro wrestling might be doing it. Somebody been long. It's definitely gonna be July, August. So it's happening. And the YouTube title, where is it? There it is. The YouTube title is on the line. So we'll Wait. see what happens. Well, you're really usually really having a match. Yeah. I gotta make sure I'm there for that one. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I, I'm, I've been retired since night since 2001 or two. I can't remember how far I was. I haven't wrestled in over 20 years, but uh. I got a little tricks up my sleeve. You know, I still, you know, you know, it's like a bicycle. You never forget how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I see you're doing that cleanse. So you're going to you're gonna drop some LBs. Uh... Oh, I dropped, I already dropped 15. Really? But I was, I was losing weight prior to that too. So the cleanse was part of it. But, you know, it, I'm not that, he here's the thing. When you're short, people swear you're so, you know, like that BMI thing is a lie. Okay. Oh, don't it's get me started. Lie. Don't get me it's started. Okay. Oh, you, you. My my height says I should be 157 pounds. Yeah, my uncle, who is a is an incredible athlete, according to the BMI, he's overweight, and this man is faster than I've ever seen. And, and tell him he's overweight. I'm like, get real. Yeah, it's craziness. So, you know, I'm just trying to get some. I'm just trying to get some agility, drop some <laughs> drop some weight so I can get some my cardio going. But AJ Francis, who, who's a great wrestler, great on the mic. Everybody just swears I'm just going to get walked over. And, you know, it, it, yeah, he's a big dude. You know, he's a big man. But you ever see a big redwood tree? That little axe chop, chops it down. <laughs> you know? I like that. Think I about, like that. Well, think about it. You see how small the axe is, right? Uh, no. you, you you keep – look, this is why this guy gets hurt all, hurt all the time. A, 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 that small axe chopped down that redwood. It might take a while, but eventually it's going down. <laughs> yeah, but the saying, right, bigger they are, the harder they fall. Listen, the, the statement is true. Well, I love your uh, I love your Saturday cleansing. Uh, your your list. Like you had everything healthy, and at the very end said Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> yeah, I was just kidding, but yeah. Um, let me tell you that cheesesteak challenge that those guys had. I could smell the deliciousness. <laughs> it's awesome. Let's see what Punk has to say now. Does Drew interrupt him? And they did this in a nine o'clock hour. I wonder how many somebody gonna give this guy. Oh, I got a lot of things I want to say and a lot of business to get to. But before I he's looking good. Yeah. Be alive in Chicago on a Monday night or what? So is he? He's right-handed, right? So for him to be guest referee, he might have to do it left-handed if they do it. See, I thought maybe a guest host. That too. If he's gonna be at WrestleMania, but, the short answer uh -oh. is yes. What's he doing? Let's see. Everybody's asking me how my elbow is doing. It's not great. It's not a hundred percent. I'm not medically cleared, but damn it, my mouth works. <laughs> We're not on Netflix yet, so I apologize. April knows what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> wow. That Not was incredible. People asking me what I'm going to do at WrestleMania. They got suggestions. They say, are you going to host WrestleMania? I don't know. Ten years ago, if you asked me that, I would have thought hosting WrestleMania was beneath me. But I just want to be in front of all you people. I wish WrestleMania mm. was here in Chicago. So do I. I would love to see you dress me in Chicago. People ask me, man, you're great in the ring. You're great on the mic. You're great even at commentary. 
why don't you try to be a referee? And I wonder, hmm, mm. Mm. is there a title match at WrestleMania that maybe needs the most impartial referee? I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Not only people ask me a lot of questions, a lot of people talk about me. A lot of people talk about me. It seems there's a lot of people that even if they hate me, most of them love me. They certainly need me, and they need to talk about me. Pat McAfee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. Pat McAfee. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got yourself a little program, I understand. I apologize. I'm not a daily listener. I listen to the experience in the drive through But you had a guest on your show. Understand. By the name of Roman Reigns. Uh-oh. And I sit back and I wonder, why does a guy like Roman Reigns need to bring little old one-armed CM Punk up? He earned that right, and I respect him for it. But mm. I have a feeling that me coming back and climbing back up the mountain and on Roman's way back down the mountain, we're going to see each other pretty soon. Whoa. Another guy that likes did to he, talk about Did he foreshadow something violence. right there? I wouldn't mind seeing that match. I would, I, that match I'd be interested in seeing. Let's uh, not forget CM Punk brought the shield in. We go way back. We don't see eye to eye, mostly because he wears For like so long ago. And he's somehow magically taller than me. That's a story for another time. But LOLing that I hurt my arm paying the price being a professional wrestler since I was 15 years old. Mm. Maybe he's earned that right. I don't know. Coming from somebody with two bad knees, uh, it's kind of funny. Wow. Oh. Somebody who hasn't talked about me hasn't said a word. The Rock. Oh. And I'd like to think that's because 10 years ago, he remembers coming face to face with the Second City Saint and realizing that his arms were just too, too short, short to box, box with God. He beat you, though. <laughs> And then there's Drew McIntyre. Who I think is doing his best work of all time. Drew is yes. incredible right now. Just see him today in front, of the, uh, in front of the bakery. No, I didn't see it. The bakery that CM Punk was eating during the press conference for AEW. Drew McIntyre posted a picture in front of the bakery today in Chicago. Wow. Incredible. Yes, Drew. Wow. Yeah, man. If they haven't signed, re if they if they resigned Drew, they better. Yeah. No, I agree. Let me ask you a question: Would they have put him in this match if they hadn't resigned him? Turn the stupid song off. Nobody I don't think so. Uh, I think he resigned. I love the Savior WrestleMania shirt. I ain't mad at <laughs> here, but I'm not looking to have a wrestling match. Why don't you get your bitch ass in here? Wow. Wow. This is the match everybody wants to see. I would yes. love to get to that ring right now and beat your arse, but Punk, don't you remember what happened last time we were in the ring together? You did tear your tricep. I stomped that stupid little arm of yours because you deserved it. And I told you, I prayed for this, and it happened. Hey, hey, hey. Are you a Scottish psychopath in a kilt? Are you an internet troll in a skirt? Let's find out. Go! Oh. This is 2024. You want to get canceled for talk like that? Wow. <laughs> no, no, today, wow. Today's perfect. This is, I could have prayed for this. You're in the ring injured, punk. We're less than two weeks to Mania. We're in Chicago. Drew McIntyre is in the world title match. This is divine intervention. That's what this is. Nice sign, Drew for World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, uh, man, I just realized I'm wearing this shirt. What bad manners. You know, on the back it says number one in the checklist, in your seat. Drew McIntyre, I ain't never had to put another man's name on a T-shirt to sell it. Oh. Yeah, that was good. That was, that was, uh, that wasn't written. Two shirt giving. 
struggled to get out of that thing with my bicep, something you probably never had the an issue with. <laughs> wow. You want to know the most ironic thing about you, punk? The straight edge thing. What the? You never drink, you never do drugs, yet you spend all your time in rehab. Oh, wow. This is, Drew's bringing it tonight. I'll give him it. I can see in your eyes. You don't good. like me too much, and you think I hate you like Seth Rollins. And maybe at one time I hated you, and maybe those issues that need resolve, but no, as of right now, I don't hate you, punk. You complete me. <laughs> you complete me. Man, this boo this man. No, hear me out. Yeah. You tell him who you paid to see. Hear me out. When I'm in the gym and I can't get that last rep, and I'm using weights you can even have imagined in your prime, I think about you. And the weight goes up. I'm an elimination chamber. First man in, 30 minutes in, burst eardrum, equilibrium off. Can't possibly win that thing. I think about CM Punk and I get the job done. You're my muse, man. This is I great. I can't hear a word you're saying. Why don't you come into this ring and speak into my good ear? Come on, you coward. I would love to get in that ring, but I know what the people of Chicago are like. You probably have a weapon in there. And you <laughs> me out before WrestleMania. <laughs> what the hell? I don't have any other. What the, what's, oh, my, yeah, on. do not shoot up my kilt, you perv. <laughs> wow. Listen, punk, please. I know you want to be at WrestleMania bad. Real bad. You don't have to sneak in. I want you there. I want you to have a front row seat at WrestleMania because you honestly believe you should be in my position, but you shouldn't. And everybody's finally starting to realize what well, I've known all along. The Drew McIntyre has always been the chosen one. Mm. Who chose you? Oh. What was oh. his name? Oh. You got the balls to say you're the chosen one. Tell me Bro, what paragon of good virtue chose you. It wasn't the people in oh. <laughs> oh, they're going there. San Antonio, when we went off the air on Monday Night Raw, and they were saying, CM Punk. CM Punk. Yo, CM Punk. he does not care. CM Punk. Please keep going. Get it in while you can, because this you're going to be great. out for months still. This is your moment. This is exciting. I feel like a fan sitting here. But anyway, if you want to be part this of is the a show, different kind of a promo. Maybe since I'm in the commentary. No, day, yeah, I agree. This is this is fire right now. You're only good at talking, running that mouth of yours. So why don't you maybe be the guest commentator for the world title match and have to watch Drew McIntyre finally of his moment and raise the world heavyweight championship with live fans in a stadium. Oh. Wow. I like that, call. Uh oh business just picked up. See, I, I love that they're adding Punk into this some way because it makes this match feel important now, you know? like it, 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 cause, Because it was getting overshadowed Yeah, the whole Roman rock thing, yeah. Yeah, it was getting very overshadowed, so I'm glad. And and the good thing is, Punk is not cool with either one of these guys, so he, he can feel like that impartial if he is going to be the ref, the impartial ref. Right, exactly. Hypocrite McIntyre was scared of the ring. But like you said, would they would they be willing to do that with his arm when he has to count? Yeah. <laughs> we got two weeks. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. It's off for the World Heavyweight Championship. WrestleMania Sunday. But I love that foreshadowing that foreshadowing that Punk did with the uh who's your chosen one. That was Yo. That, that was, was fire. Ballsy. I wanted to get some trouble for that. We'll see. That was ballsy. He and might I, they've they've worked so hard to scrub him from everything. He said they said who? Who chose you? What paragon of virtue chose you? Look at that stair down there. Couple Hall of Famers. No, no love lost between those two either. It's the first time they've been this close. Maybe it's yeah. Now is this genuine between them two, or is it for storyline? I really couldn't tell you. I think that Seth will do business with anybody, but I think when he made the comments he made when Punk was in AEW, he really meant it. But listen, it takes two to argue, two to tango. Punk can't always be wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole thing in AW, who knows what really happened? 
who is in fault. Uh oh. Chicago! Still get okay. the reaction too. Yeah, Welcome to Monday night. That's good. Get a good crowd reaction. That's good to see. Yeah. Now that we've firmly established whose show this is, whose show this has been. Uh oh. And whose show this is going to be? Well, I lost them right here, though. If you two children, you two children. Yeah. Oh, Just let it happen, bro. Just let it happen. It could be your show. It's my city. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was a nice rope from Punk. It could be your show, but it's my city. Punk, but if Punk's still with that quick, quick, witty responses. Control each other. Maybe we get down to business. You see, if you two morons had even one brain cell amongst the two of you, you know you don't get to make decisions about the World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania when you're not in it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> But since you guys seem to want to take everybody's opinion into account except the champ himself, I figure why not go all the way? Why not take a poll of the whole city of Chicago? If they put him in so special guest referee, Chicago I'm going to love it. I'm sorry. Tonight. I'll love it. WrestleMania 40. Drew McIntyre versus Seth freaking Rollins. World heavyweight title on the line. Should CM Punk be on commentary? Uh-oh. Uh, that's okay. I'd like that. That'd be fun. There's something going on. Ask if they want to be the referee. Yeah. He's and I called this months ago. But when he got first got hurt. Yeah. Referee, that's your look guys. I don't know if you know this, but that's his counting arm right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> In all fairness, I really don't think I could be objectively fair with these two tips. PG, brother. I like they letting these guys go. Yeah. They look. They're breaking character right now. I love it. I feel like Drew's been doing his best work out of character, though. Yeah. You want to know From what I think, Punk? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's ironic because I don't think anything about you. Wow. Matter of fact, you haven't crossed my mind since the last time we were in this ring together. I don't give a damn about you. You're a non-factor to me. If you want to be on commentary at WrestleMania, you want to be a referee at WrestleMania, it doesn't matter to me. The funny thing to me, though, this is, is that great. you're talking about how everybody needs you, but the fact is you need me to have a moment at WrestleMania. Ooh, Ooh let's go, Seth. I like the idea of commentary because the irony <laughs> of Punk narrating my finest hour has not been lost on me. And Punk, truthfully, the way things are going for you, it's about as close to a world championship as you're ever going to get again. Oh, wow. Wow. So, look, you do whatever you want at WrestleMania. 
the one thing I need you to know, the one thing I need you to do is stay out of my way. How wild would it have been if Punk had ripped off the arm brace? I was like, I'm good to go. Okay, and just cracks yeah. him. <laughs> Swerve this all. Hands on, sitting next to my buddy Michael Cole. All the coal miners. Pat McAfee. Yeah. Do a little commentary at WrestleMania. And I guarantee you I will do something that you, the lips in your boots, the shoe polish in your beard, your skirt, all the pyro in the world, that stupid sword that you came out to the ring with, and you, wow. your bell bottoms, your championship, your wife. Oh! My 10 year absence from this company could never do is make you both interesting. Oh! Music. Wow. Well, he said peace. <laughs> It was all kind of Drew McIntyre's idea. No, uh, he's he doesn't get the last word. Cut the music. What? He's not even in the match of WrestleMania. You don't get the last word, punk. He's wow. That's how it works. I want to make one thing clear. The only thing Drew McIntyre's obsessed with is the title. You are obsessed with me. You think about me all day long. You watch me in social media. You watch me on TV because I am living your dream. You're my number one stan. Write me back just to chill. Truly, you're your biggest fan. Wow. This is Phil. He's. Oh! Wow. With a wide side kick nice super kick. Time. And he quoted Eminem, by the way, everybody. <laughs> stronger than ever. You're going to stomp him. Stop. Wow. And perhaps. It is Drew McIntyre who is now taking his eye off the ball. Not Seth Rollins. McIntyre is, is he gonna face it? Go up to him? With CM Punk, who is even a factor at WrestleMania. And Look right past him. That obsession wow. I think Seth needed this. I feel like he was getting a little kind of lost in the shuffle with Cody, Roman, and Rock. I feel like he needed this moment. That was great. Dahlia, they can't make him ref because of his arm. They can't clear him, so he can't do it. But it being, it was, listen, that people are going to think that that went long, and I disagree 100%. I think that was perfect. It took about, what, 29 minutes about that. I think that was great. I yeah. think that it was unscripted. I love how they were very impromptu. I ain't mad at all. I, I think it was much needed time for this match. Like we've been saying for I've been saying for months, I don't know how you feel about this, but this match has been overshadowed so much Agreed. between between Cody Rock, Cody Roman, that Seth felt like just a throw in, you know, and now this this one promo has made this match instantly feel important again. Drew McIntyre is a friggin' Royal Rumble winner. Oh. This match is supposed to mean something. No, I definitely agree. Oh, Meek Mills of WrestleMania. I definitely agree that Punk helped this. I think that was the that was the idea. I think that Drew has been carrying this whole time. I think that because Seth is part of that part of that main event deal with the tag team, that yeah. they they focus on that too much. What people don't realize, well, well, this is my personal opinion. I think that you know Drew may have something to do. With that tag team match, um, really? I, yeah, I think they listen. The bloodline has screwed Drew a time or two as well. You know what? What if? What it wouldn't it be great if maybe Drew did something shocking and actually screwed the bloodline? You know, maybe mm. maybe Seth and maybe nobody's thinking that way. Maybe Seth and Cody win. You know what I mean? So um, that I like that idea actually because I didn't think about that. My thought was. Cody's taking the pin just to be one more thing to add to his story. Right. I mean, and listen, that could well be the thing. But I think that because this WrestleMania is different, this is the first non-Vince McMahon WrestleMania. I, with TKO leading and with Triple H 
booking everything. I think this being the fortieth, they're gonna pull out all the stops, and they gotta do things that are shocking. That because look, we're smart fans. People like you, people like me, people in the chat, we figure stuff out. Basically, what's gonna happen now? You always have a 50-50 chance of picking who's gonna win, but who knows how the story is gonna go? You know what I mean? Like who can who can fantasy book five months in advance? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. And uh, it was funny, like we just saw Meek Mills at WrestleMania and stuff. And instantly, I'm thinking, like, like we saw Meek Mills, like for some of his music videos, like drive around the city and like dirt bikes and stuff. How funny would it be if they had uh, Cody Rhodes drive around Philly with dirt bikes with Meek Mills for Listen, a promo? Not to mention, like somebody just mentioned, NYC mentioned in the chat. What if they have some kind of thing with um with Sylvester Stallone? Look. You know, I, I see Stallone showing up at Mania. I think you can't have WrestleMania in Philly without a Rocky siding. You know, we got Rock the Rock and we got Rocky. I mean, I got a feeling that we definitely going to see something like that, some kind of underdog story that might might tie into the, uh, the Sami Zayn deal. You know what I mean? Who knows? Yeah. Um, I like that idea because it feels like it feels like Cody going up against the bloodline is kind of like that Rocky and Dragic, Drago type of storyline where, you know, like, the powerful Russian is the bloodline who just are unstoppable going up against little old Rocky, who is Cody Rose. It, it feels like the same storyline almost. No, you're right. And it's just um, they're doing the right thing. Look, with, with under two weeks to go, now you've got to go into overdrive because you've only got Raw in Brooklyn, and then you've got two SmackDowns. Yeah. That's it. Now, um, I'm going to make the trip to Brooklyn. I'm going to Raw. On you the- are? You're making that decision? You're going? I'm, 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 I'm making a decision right here. I'm going for it. I'm going. I'm going. I was, I'm from Brooklyn originally, and I haven't been back to Barclay in a while, and I think I'm going to do it. I think since I'm off, I go on um, vacation. Oh, I look at Biggie. I go on vacation on the 28th. Bootios is a word. It's like- 28th is my last day of work, so that first works out for me, and then I'll come home, get a rest, and then... April 3rd, boost to the ground. Sam Roberts at the Helium Comedy Club. World on Thursday. Pick up Alicia Fox, Victoria Crow from the airport. The 5th, Friday, WrestleCon. The Block Party at ECW. Saturday, WrestleMania, WrestleCon. Sunday, WrestleMania, WrestleCon. Monday, Raw. Um, Cody on Thursday. Bianco on Monday at World. It, it's, it's, it's a lot going on. Not to mention... I guess I'm thinking I'm definitely making a stop to Super Adventures Wrestling, and it's gonna be nuts, man. It's gonna be nuts. Yeah, I, I thought I thought my schedule was uh was wild. I got uh the collective. I got Cream Mania. It's called on Wednesday night, uh, which is at the H two O Center in New Jersey. Oh, but that's I, Wednesday night. What time is that? That is at eight. The main event is Marcus Mathers versus Effie. Listen, anything that you're going to, shoot me a text. Okay. Because we're gonna, we're gonna be moving. We like we we know we can we can leave Sam Roberts early. When you do these shows, you don't stay for everything. Sometimes you go run to one thing, see something, go run to a main event. That's what I did for, in Florida that one year, right after COVID. There was so many different shows, but um, I'm definitely ready to make stops everywhere, get content, get listen. I, I'm doing whatever I can do to get to ten thousand. Kira thinks he can pull it off. It to me, it's not. I we it, we're like we're like Vince. We have no chance. No chance yeah. in hell to get a thousand. Yeah. Oh, you said the but, name there. You said it. And you know, listen, I can say it. I don't work for anybody. <laughs> I, I, I can't get fired. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and the good thing about Philly is all of the major shows that are happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday are kind of all in like the same vicinity, you know? Right. Same area. We're gonna we're gonna make some moves. I can't wait, man. Um it's gonna be it's gonna be a good weekend, man. Now, are you going to make it to WrestleCon at all? Uh, maybe Sunday before Mania, it's possibly. Let, let me know. Let me know. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll hit you up for sure. Whatever I decide. I, I'm trying to figure out. So I got Thursday and Friday booked up, but I'm trying to figure out what to do Saturday and Sunday. But uh, I just don't want to be so, like, do too much those days and then fall asleep at Mania, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right, right. It's going to be a lot. You got a lot going on. Candice LeRae pulled up another, um... Oh, Maxine cut her hair, huh? No, it was always like that. She just worked Oh, she's she doing extensions? Okay, yeah. gotcha. So, this... I like this Candice LeRae turn. 
single question, though. Oh, hold on. Yeah, why in New Day backstage? Who's that back? Paul talking to Drew? Drew? Look, Paul's talking to Drew. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. And that's Paul, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. I might have called this. Yeah. Called what? This gonna be the best match. What? What's this? Oh, you got a look awesome at truth. The White Sox belt. No, I'm talking about tonight. The New Day versus DX. Oh my god. She's still calling DX. I told JBL. McAfee. Kazoon type. What? No, what? I, I got it. Good luck, guys. Well, Group is getting more and more confusing. So JBL done changed his name, though. <laughs> I'll see you. Oh, I love Truth. They need to make a DIY shirt that says DX. It has, like, our truth and stuff on it. I agree. So, look. You that, the rules. No real names. No self That is purposefully... That they got Drew and Paul Heyman in the background. So, I'm telling you guys, they working together. Yeah. I think I'm, I might have made this call where Drew interferes, man. You got you got those uh, the rundown back there. You, you knew this was happening beforehand. Listen, here's the thing: they might not give me credentials, but I still got ears to the ground, baby. Okay. <laughs> WWE's not smart. I'll ruin the whole match for everybody. I'll tell everybody the outcomes. Oh, who's gonna win and everything? Yeah. I'll put it up. I'll put it up. I'll let everybody know who's winning the titles, who's losing, who's coming back. Okay, they better. WWE, you listening? I will spoil everything. Nah, <laughs> just joking. Just joking. Um, yeah. See, Dahlia, Dahlia, you saw it, right? Why is Paul talking to Drew? That's right. That's right. What'd you say was gonna happen? So I think that Drew McIntyre will interfere. In the uh, in the tag match, and help the bloodline. Excuse me, and help. Yes, and help. The, that's it. Help the bloodline. That's why I said right now. I'm confusing what I said. <laughs> yeah, he you didn't really bloodline. specify who he would help. You just said he would interfere in the match because he has history. I think he'll help the bloodline. I think that um, we need we have to have um, we have to have uh, bloodline rules because Cody needs more, you know, more obstacles to overcome. So, why not Drew? Okay. And what if and what if and what if Drew and what if what if Seth eats the pin? Oh, you pin the World Heavyweight Champion. What if the Rock pins Seth? I love yeah. it. Let me ask you this, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you, the Rock hasn't had a match, a legitimate match, since WrestleMania 29 in New York. You can't count what he did against Rowan in six seconds. He hasn't wrestled since WrestleMania 29. We're at 40. We're at 40. That's 11 years ago. Now we know The Rock's in great physical condition. But wrestling's a little different. Do you think that he's going to show up? I th I think he will, but I also think WWE was kind of a little fearful of that exact same question. Hence why it's a tag match. If he looks a little rusty in there, if he looks like he's struggling a little bit, Roman can kind of take over and take the lead, you know, had they gone straight into a one-on-one, -on -one, they don't have that luxury. So I think they were also fearful of it. I think it's The Rock. I don't think he'd put himself out there if he couldn't compete at the highest level. But but Father Time is is undefeated, you know, so... Time is, time is undefeated, it's true. But I think Rock is 51 years old. First of all, you got to realize something, guys. A 51-year-old guy like Rock is really a 40-year-old guy, maybe even yeah. a 35-year-old guy. So I think because of his conditioning or how he works out, if you notice, he's slimmer. He slimmed down, too. He, he's still big, but he has slimmed down. So I think that's for cardio reasons. And let's not forget, guys, when Rock was in his prime in wrestling, he did high cross bodies. He did float over DV, DDTs. And I think that this being maybe one of Rock's last matches, this one and maybe one against Roman, I think that he's going to show up. I think he's ready. And yeah, people think he's going to blow up. I disagree with him blowing up. I disagree. I think that you have people that say, oh my God, we did the people's elbow. The, the guy's up maybe 14 hours a day traveling, whatever. And um, he wasn't in wrestling shape when he did that. And he still, he might have been blown up, but he did, he did that people's elbow like the old days. It looked great. 
Yeah. So. Now I think I think that was before he really started to, that people elbow was before he truly started diving into the cardio a hundred percent. Because even from Agreed. then till now, he's slimmed down a huge amount. So I think Rock wouldn't agree to this match had he not known he was going to be able to do it. Because the Rock is all about his image. If we get WrestleMania twenty eight, Rock, we're in for a treat. You know. Yeah. Now, I don't really believe. I, listen. Everybody has one in their tank, one or two in their tank. People thought Stone Cold could never do it again. I'm sorry, Stone Cold looked great to me. Stone, we were there. Stone Cold looked great against Kevin Owens. You know, he took bumps. He had, you know, he wasn't blown up. He listen, Kevin. Kevin Owens took care of him, of course. But Stone Cold looked great at almost 60. So, and The Rock's only 51. And people think when you're 50 years old, you're done. AJ Francis, 55. Look at your boy. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Uh, this yeah, a good match because Rock, you know, he's on the older side, and Roman, he all of his matches are slow. That's true, but and but that's one thing Roman's matches are slow, so they can take the time and pace it. No, that's what I don't like. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you like. Uh, let's not forget Bobby Lashley's 47, he's still going strong. Age is just exactly. a number. Damian Priest, 41, 42. Finn Balor, 43. These guys in their 40s are in their prime. AJ Styles, 40. What do you see? 45? 40, something like that, right? Um, see that? I don't want to look that up real fast. Yeah. 40 something, 45, I think. 44, maybe? 46. 46. Holy Six. crap. And look, he's jacked. Randy, Randy Orton, 41, 42. This yeah. guy's. People don't realize in the wrestling business, you're in your prime in your forties. Yeah, I mean, because it takes long to break into that upper echelon of wrestling. You know, these guys might be on the indie scenes for fifteen years before they're even seen. It's the truth. Look at LA Knight. LA, yeah. LA Knight, you know. L listen, let me ask you this. So I'm gonna do, do a little speed round. So I'm gonna name somebody. You tell me if they if they're gonna show up at Mania. All right, you ready? Sure. Undertaker. Not on this, like involved in the match. No, maybe, maybe he helps induct someone or something, but I don't think he shows up. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I hope so, but I don't. No, I don't think so. I disagree with that one. I'll tell you why in a minute. John Cena. I'll say yes. I'll say yes with Cena. Cena, I think shows up. MJF. Ugh. Tough. I'm going to say no because I think he signed long terms to AEW before he got hurt. Who else could possibly show up? For what? We're not going to get a Brock Lesnar signing. That ain't you know who I think could show up? And I was going to ask you about this and what you thought. Rakishi. Rakishi should be the special guest referee, but he, you know, he probably can't have the speed to do it. But I think Rakishi should show up on Raw next week. Um, when he's, I think these, these guys have enough face off and their dad get involved, but that's a good one. Listen, like to talk like, some sense into them. Yeah. Or to tell me, hey, go for it. This is yeah. their dream to wrestle each other at WrestleMania. But you know what I do think? I, I will tell you this. I think we definitely get, um, a Stone Cold Steve Austin sighting. I think if, and it, this is a big caveat, if. If Cody's going to win and his bloodline rules, who is The Rock's arch rival? Yeah. No, that, that, that is true. Of Stone Cold come out to kind of even the odds. Another, another Texas guy, a dusty guy. Could you imagine that Rock's beating the living crap out of Cody and he's and then you hear the glass break? That place would go and, insane. Yeah, he hit, and, and Stone Cold gets rid of the rock, and then we got a one on one with with you know Roman and Cody, and then Roman still pulls off the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throw that in there, right? Look, I think the smart thing to do is to let Roman win again. I think it. I if they do this right, see people are afraid that Cody, like, oh my God, that's it, that's done. I think it gets him even more sympathy if they do it right. Yeah, I I really I think because it's pers my personal thing is I want Roman Reigns to be Hogan's record. To me, that I I don't count Bruno San Martino's and Bob Backlund's records as as legit records, and I'll tell you why. What? 
I'll tell you why. Not saying that they're not warranted, they're not, they didn't earn it, but wrestling changed in the 80s. It's a diff- it was a different animal when Hulk Hogan beat the Iron Sheik, which I was at, by the way, at the Garden, just for the record, okay? Hmm. So I've been part of history. So my thing is this, is that if you get Roman to beat Hogan, there's, a, there's so much more conversation now about this generation, you know? I'm just, I just, I just, and I know it's tough because will people still hang with Cody? I think Cody is like a CM Punk and people will never leave him. You know? No, I agree with that, but I think, I definitely think he could cool down a little. I think he could, he's so hot right now. I think the only way from here is down. There's always, a, there's, there's always a way to bring somebody back up. Speaking about bringing somebody back up, let me ask you this question. Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Do you think Sami Zayn was the right choice, or do you think they should have went with Chad Gable? They should have went with Gable. They did that whole thing when Gable lost before with showing his kids and doing that whole promo in the back and stuff. Just for it to mean absolutely nothing, it's just a little mind-blowing to me. I don't think it's over for Chad Gable, though, because they did bring up, like, after Sammy won, they did have that little thing backstage when they meant face to face. So maybe I don't want to see a triple, still involved. I don't want to see a triple threat though. You know, it you know, my thing is this. I wouldn't mind if, you know, if I was listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but I know and people say that's not true. So if I truly believed and, and I'm in the let's if I was Sami Zayn in, in my in, with my mind, I know that look, maybe maybe um Chad is the better choice. I would go to creative, say, look, what can we do to get Chad his moment? And then Chad beat Gunther, and then in SummerSlam, Survivor Series, I get Chad. You got you have a great wrestling match. I think that, I think even Sammy knows that it was Chad's time. And I, I don't know who made this, this call. I don't think this was a Triple H call. I really don't. Because Triple H really has his hands on, his finger on the pulse of what's going on. And this is a great match with DIY, by the way. But Oh, sliced bread, a standing, a standing sliced bread. That was nice. But think about how how over Chad was, the whole story with his daughter. And other than Jay Uso, Chad Gable is the only one that seemed like he had a chance to beat Gunther. I don't know if the crowd's going to be with Sami Zayn during this one. I think this hurts Sami. Oh, no, I agree. Okay. I, I agree. I think it hurts him big time. Um, you know a name that that I've been seeing a lot, and I see some in the comments saying it also, um, Motor City Machine Guns. The reports are that their last Matthew booking Saturday. was Saturday night. Could they leave one team open for that tag team match and have a mystery kind of like they did before with the Hardys? My only problem with that is I don't think they're mainstream enough that people know who they are. Okay, and that's fair enough because they're not the Hardys. You know what I mean? They're not that big team to do that, and I and I definitely could see that with maybe some of the strictly WWE fans knowing who they are. I don't think WWE people know who. Oh, nice frog splash by Dami. I don't think these guys know who the, the WWE fans know who who um Motor machine, machine Motor City Machine Guns are, and I think that'd be the problem. I'd love to see them there. I think it's great, but I think you introduce them the Monday after WrestleMania. Okay, that's fair enough. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even be shocked if they ended up in uh, NXT to begin. I think that's a better move for them. I definitely do. Yeah. What is J- what is Damian saying? Hold on. Oh, commercial break. <laughs> He's surrounded by Judgment Day. Bars. Let's go. Let's go, Truth. No, I can't. Let's go, Truth. I love Truth, but I love Judgment Day more. I got another question for Joe in a second. Look, once again, look, look who's got him. Let's go. Raise his edge. edge. Raise his edge. (laughs) Woo! He still got it. Look at Finn. Who the raw? Jeez. Yeah. So here's my thing with Judgment Day. And Kira's a Judgment Day big time. You know, she's a big Judgment Day fan. 
titles at WrestleMania. I think Judgment Who does the last two spots that. go to? I really, I really wanted um, A Town Down Under and New Day. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. I am yeah. standing by with the um, American Nightmare, uh, Cody Rhodes. Hold on, hold on. Cody, everyone is talking about what happened in the ring between you and The Rock. What did when The Rock I say, Cody? The Rock, what he whispered to you, he directed me to you. Oh, for what the did answer. You, let's hear this. We, get, we finally Can get the you answer. Share it with us. Jesse, apologies to you. Apologies to this crowd here tonight. It's not no. something that I'd rather repeat. However, I can tell Come you, on. it was a promise that he can't keep. Thank you, Jackie. All right, it thanks, was a Cole, promise. for your time. I appreciate it. Cole, back to you. I'm telling you. Know, there was a there are cahoots. That's what I, that's what I said when, when, you, when you were off air. I said I felt like they were going to use this for future promos that Rock would end up turning on Roman. To answer your question in the beginning of the show, you had said who was – who is going to turn on who, who's the face, who the heel is. I think Rock is too big of a face overall, inside, outside the ring, that he's going to go back to face. Roman stays the heel. He turns on Roman, helps Cody win. And I think this will be used going forward as they talked about it, and this is how it happened. I mean, that makes sense. My only problem with that is then you take Cody's win away from him if someone helps him win. You know, like Cody, I think Cody needs to pin Roman clean to get the rub that he's the next he's the next face. If The Rock helps Cody, then it was an assisted win. You know what I mean? He's yeah. Like asterisk, well, you know? Let me ask you this: What if he doesn't actually touch Roman? He takes out the he takes out the bloodline that's attacking that Cody. That works. That works. What you know? What's even maybe another swerve that might even? I mean, listen. I'm just. I'm always trying to get Stone Cold and something because Stone Cold's my guy. <laughs> imagine if. Imagine if the bloodline. That you, so you got you got Jimmy and you got Solo beating up the Rock because the Rock's trying. You know what? What if Stone Cold helps? What if Stone Cold comes helps the Rock? I think you got to. I think you have to put Stone Cold in WrestleMania at some point. You got to get him there somehow. I mean, maybe not that. This doesn't mean fantasy booking, but I just think he's gonna be there. That's oh, I know I'm overbooking for... right now, but I like to overbook. Well, I, like I think I think you gotta try to get as many of the past WrestleMania stars on the show, whether they're in the crowd, they're doing they have yes. to do something. This is forty. This is a whole number. It's the big four zero. So you have to include everyone that's come before. True. And I did just get something sent to me. Anyone that is in the Philadelphia area, Saturday, this Saturday, Ricochet will be at the Philadelphia Wings game doing a meet and greet. Golly gee. This Saturday? With the Philadelphia Wings? Where do, where do they play? The Wells Fargo Center. And they'll be giving out uh, Wings Road to WrestleMania shirts. Are you going to Raw? In, in, in Brooklyn? Next week. Let me ask you a question. Do you think I should go to Raw? Are you going to run the show from here? <laughs> or do you want to go to Raw? Do you want to go to Raw? I need to make it. I mean, listen, we could do. Listen, my thing is, there's a lot of shows we're not going to be doing here because we're on the road to WrestleMania, literally. So <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> if you want to go, let me know. We, we can go. We can go to Brooklyn. He uh, he made the decision when you weren't on when you weren't here. He sat on the show and well, said, well, "I'm going." I made the decision. I'm going to Raw. <laughs> I'm going to roll without you. So, I mean, so if you want to make, so if you want to come, let me know. I haven't bought the tickets yet. Joe, let me ask you this, and let me put your your um, website up one more time, guys. Um, That's close, guys. In case you don't know who Joe Wood is, Joe, tell him. <laughs> yeah, so I've I'm fairly new to the covering wrestling in, industry. I've been doing it since May. Um, for Edge of Philly Sports, they gave me the chance, went out on a limb, and let me bring out the wrestling. So if you click on the uh, end more spot, you'll see the uh, the wrestling portion. But they built in a whole page for me. I run the wrestling page for them, and uh, I'm forever grateful. I do a little bit of everything. Whatever I can kind of get to, I do previews, posts, results, you know, whatever I can get to. And then that's my show that we do weekly on there. But, uh, yeah, hey, I try guys, to get to everything local. Hey, guys, look at this Twitter post, everybody. Look at this Twitter post. It's X post. Woods Wrestling, Street Steps, Steel Steps 215. 
in his WrestleMania media t- tour. He stops by <laughs> at Tantalizing Tony. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And he even put the link, guys. So thank you so much for that, bro. And I retweeted, of course. So, guys, check him out on Twitter. I sent the link for the site. It's there. Here's the, t- here's the actual Twitter link right here. That is a long link. I don't know. That is a long here, link. Here, okay. Here, there it is. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know what I'm doing. Come on, man. I can produce sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway. I just knew I had to assist Watch you, Justin, to so. Those are both links, guys. Please check them out on Twitter. Check them out on the website. Um, so you say you've been doing this for a few months. So May will be a year. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I, I'm shocked at what I've been able to accomplish in this year. I've covered uh, WrestleCade. I went to North Carolina to WrestleCade. I, we saw each other there. We did. Um, see you, yeah. yeah, you were you were killing. You had a nice little line when I saw you there. So I do. But, uh, we do pretty. We do pretty well. We do pretty well. I yeah. Do. No, I agree. I agree. But WrestleCade is an impact TNA because it was impact at when I first started, New Japan, WWE, and now AEW. So I'm, I'm excited. Well, oh, wait, what's this? Hold on. I sent this to you this morning. I'm going to need you to see. No, because you never check any of my messages. Any of them. like being a WWE superstar. Wow. So they're basically bringing back Tough, tough enough. enough, but like with a, with a twist, I guess. Nice. Oh, he's good there. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw. I am standing by with Intercontinental Champion. The ring general. Gunther's not losing it, right? I don't think so. <laughs> I think if it was if it was Ch- Chad, I think he might have. But uh, yeah, I think so should have been Sheamus. I, I, I want Sheamus to get it. What's up with him? Is he hurt? He's hurt I bad. Know. I don't know. Uh, you don't know that. I do. I don't know if he's hurt. He's definitely he distancing still- himself from the media because he like took down his whole Twitter or something like that. I but. think that's a shock. I think, listen, I think, I think Sheamus is the one to take this title from him. You know, if Chad's not going to do it, let's, Sheamus has never been IC champion. Ricky thinks that Raw has been a four out of ten, and I totally disagree with that. Totally, I think this is the best Raw in the past three months. I agree with that. I think it's very jam packed. I think that the, the 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 promo with those three jabronis, um, Seth, Drew, and CM Punk was what? awesome. I missed the whole CM Punk. It was great. Um, yeah, you missed the part where uh, where Drew said he was the chosen one, and. Uh, CM Punk challenged him to say who t- called him the chosen one. I dare to tell me who chose you. I dare you to tell me who chose you. What paragon of virtue chose you to be the chosen one? You know, it's Vince. So he was trying to. He was trying to. Oh. Get, yeah, he was trying to get him to say Vince. And Drew just sat there like, yeah, dumbfounded. Huh. Um, before I get to Andrade, let me ask you another question about the tag team titles. Do you think the tag team titles should be split? I do. I think the only way you build the t- the division back up is f- for each show to have their own. Right now, I just feel like they're not being defended as much as they could because they're being tied up with one team. So let me ask you this, being that there's a ladder match. Is there a possibility that two different teams grab the titles? See, I can see Truth doing something stupid like that Truth normally does and only pulls down one of the one of the mm. like one of the belts, you know, like he pulls down just the raw belts or just the smackdown belts, and then whoever else is up there with him battling grabs the smackdown belts, oh, and then they're all kind of staking their claims as the champion. Anything that drew that excuse me, that our truth is involved in, it's wonky, but I love it. I yeah. definitely think that's the way to go. I think that you definitely find a way to get truth to grab one title or Grab a red and a blue. Yeah. Then that would mean he's undisputed. No, no. Oh, that's oh not. Oh, that's true. You're right. Won't no, they grab, just have one red and one blue up there? Or are they gonna have four titles? I yeah, think they will, should have two titles. Yeah, will it be there. will it that's true? Will it be four titles? It should be two. Okay? It should only be two because not I mean, not always are you gonna be climbing the rope the the ladder with your teammate. 
And the only way yeah. to grab all four is if you're up on the top with your team. That's teammate. true. Yeah, yeah we're and, grabbing four titles. But, but no, you're right. But I do. I honestly do think that, like Ricky said, that DIY wins one and Miz one. I think that's no. Our truth wins. I do. Judgment Day is not losing. Kira, I'm sorry. I'm Kira, I know you love Judgment Day. I'm sorry. Uh, to this. No. Rhea retains, but Judgment Day loses the tag team titles. You are. So, so I think Rhea retains. Judgment Day loses the titles, but Damian leaves WrestleMania as as champion. You think he cashes in? I do. I think. Uh, I think wow. Drew wins. Damian cashes in, and we see a Drew and, and Damian uh, feud going forward. Oh, so Drew gets his moment. With the cheering of the fans, and then gets cashed in on thirty seconds later. Yep. Could you imagine? I was pulling my hair out of my head thinking about this because I want you to have long reign. But who's to say that Damien's gonna have long reign? Damien could drop it after like a couple months to Drew, and then Drew could have his. Jamie could Damien could drop it after... or 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 Drew can win at WrestleMania. Damien does not cash in until I said this earlier, until like a week or two before his contract expires. Which is in July. Yeah. And then he wins it there. Whenever I don't know what um that would line up with money in the bank season, obviously. But yeah. I feel like that is a good enough time. What is it? April, May, June, July. July. What if two they, and a half months is a good what, run for Drew? Yeah, but what if they did this though? What if for the first time ever they the money in the bank winner, right? The money in the bank that drew that that um Damien has, he's allowed to cash it in. The the the, the cutoff is money in the bank. Mm. So he had to cut he'd have to cash it in by money in the bank or at money in the bank. That's and easy to calculate. And let's see he cash it in at money in the bank, and then it was the money in the bank that night, cash is in the same night. Could you yeah. fucking imagine? That's yeah, and we've seen that before with Alexa, right? Where she cashed it in that night. Yeah, so that'd be pretty cool, but yeah, definitely. Or what if it ran out? What if it ran out completely? That'd be pretty wild, too. What, what if it, it ran, expires before what, he can use what it? What if it expires exactly? Like, what if it expires, right? And he gets in the money in the bank, uh, oh, and, and again, it, and he wins it again, and, and then that, uses it that night. That night, yeah, That's, that booking's incredible. That yeah, insane. I love that. Like, like, so here's the thing so, what if. They have both matches on on Money in the Bank. So just say the first title match opens opens the show, and then the other title match would close the show. He goes to cash in after the first match, when they tell him, "No, your contract's expired. You can't use it." He goes absolutely ballistic, beats the brakes off of someone that was in the Money in the Bank match, joins it, it wins, not. yeah, and then becomes just I this monster it. heel. Triple H, you heard. Joey just booked this for you. <laughs> Cash is in that night. That would be incredible. That would be incredible. But let me ask, a, he'd be a face at that point. People would love him. Yeah. Yeah. No, agreed. Let me ask you a question, though. So the reports are we're getting four more matches, two on each each night mm -hmm. to kind of round out the card. Looking at the current storylines and what's out there, what four matches do you see? I don't, I don't see four matches. Okay, so who hasn't been – who's not being used properly? Who needs something? Let's check. You know Dominic. Here, do Dominic. 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 Maybe, maybe a Dominic, Dominic and Escobar versus Ray and Carlito. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be. They could also do – people are talking about the LWO versus Legato. LWO. L I just want to think. Yeah. LWO versus Legato. I think that's a match you got to see. But is Ray part of – is Ray – I mean, is Dom part of LWO for one – I mean, uh, uh, Escobar's for group night? for one night? Maybe. 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 I think he's in his, uh, his own match. I think he's aligned because obviously he helps Sa Santos win. But he's in his match with it with his dad. That's true. What – what who else – who else – what about women? What women need to be the, need... the Bianca, Naomi, and a uh, Kabuki Warriors? Right, Naomi and Naomi and Bianca versus the Kabuki Warriors for the tag title. So, so that's so that's two. Two more. Yeah, it's hard. I thought there was three. Maybe we get a. Maybe we get somebody coming back. Charlotte. No, I'm kidding. Listen, have you seen Charlotte Flair working out? It's it's astonishing the the pace Very. that she's working at. You almost she's, you almost expect a setback at some point. The speed that she's working, I I think 
I think I'm telling you, I think we see a match. I think Charlotte somehow wrestles at WrestleMania. I feel like there's she, no reason why she's working this hard. I feel like she's either healed or oh, like very close to because she in the beginning of her whole journey when she started documenting, she um. She posted today like a whole montage of all her videos that she made over the years. What a close I mean, over the, from, the week. Sorry, Kira. What a close on by Giovanni on um freaking um 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 Andrade. Speaking of Andrade, yeah, she <laughs> like it's like the end of her recovery because she put all the videos together. I feel like that was her sign of saying she's ready. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know if he'll give her a full blown match. Maybe she plays a part in a match, you know, some way. But yeah, it's definitely shocking the speed that she's coming back. My only hope for her is, and I don't know how you guys feel about this, is she can come back, but she doesn't need to be in a title picture. I feel like every storyline in the past five years that she's been involved in has centered around the title. Yeah. Andrade wins. Who in the women's, who is. The, a big heel in the women's division that's not involved in the match that Charlotte could come beat real quick. Hmm. Naya. Oh. Wow. Oh. A Naya squash. What if she? Yo. She cannot squash Naya Jack. No, no, Naya be so shocked you put in a figure eight, she taps. No. Why not? No. Naya. Listen, it, listen we. So, sh- oh, sorry. We. Oh, Mommy Sarah's, Sarah's getting the, the 10 o'clock hour. Mm-hmm. She has a promo coming up. What What about... Here's the thing what you got to realize, Kira. At SummerSlam in Vegas, I was there for that. Bianca, who one of the biggest faces in the company, was champion, and Becky Lynch squashed her and took the title. And then nobody thought that was ever going to happen. So why can't they do it to Nia Jax? You know? Could you imagine if Nia comes out? I have an open challenge. You know who else could possibly do it? If Jade doesn't have him, if Jade's not booked in that match, I would say it would be Jade. But if she's booked, and the only other person would be would be Charlotte, unless. But Jade might be the better pick because she could come in pump kicker and pin her one yeah. two three. Sheamus a a shake his a Sheamus Daniel Bryan WrestleMania twenty eight. Well, no, I think I think if. If Jade's gonna do it, they're gonna show off her power and have her pick her up some way or another. Ice slammer, yeah. Yeah. True. But uh I need to say one thing about Jade. Like people are so impatient with her. Like everyone was complaining when she was in AEW that she needed time to train and become a better mm-hmm. wrestler. Now WWE is giving her that chance and people are like, Oh, it's not happening fast enough. Like right. you get you gotta you gotta pick the, the island to die here on people, you know, like Either she needs she needs time or she's ready. You you can't be in between here. I feel I I'm one of those impatient people. I feel because listen, if you're training, then stay away and train. It's just the fact that they keep bringing her in for one night at a time, and then doing nothing. I can't even recall the last full. Match that Jade Cargill has had, even in AEW. Well, that was against Chris, was Chris Statlander, yeah. And what? And let me tell you something else about that. Let's go to that real quick. And this is my problem with AEW. So you build Jade Cargill as this beast, and then you have her lose. I don't have a problem with losing the first match, but then you have a lose again. Of course, she was leaving, and then you don't keep the belt on Statlander. That Statlander, that Statlander title run was a complete miss from the start. For for one, and I'm a huge AEW mark. There was times I forgot she was even champion because she was on TV so little. Listen, I think they dropped the ball with the women's division. I'm I, I I'm glad Mercedes is there. I don't know what she's gonna do. I don't see people. Listen, people are mad at her that she took the money, which I get, but she ain't moving no numbers. She ain't she ain't changing no numbers. She she ain't up in the numbers. No, she's not 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 even in the littles right now. But Wait I think going because her. No, I agree. But I think the AEW is on the right track now, getting back to what's what what got them numbers to begin with. I think they lost that for a little while, but I think they're getting back to that point. I think the big superstar signings back messed them up. You know, you got you got you have so many people in the AEW roster that are so good. 
but the booking is poor, in my opinion. You you've put in matches that make no sense. You know, one week this this guy, and you bring in somebody that's every wrestling in the month, and you don't see him again. It's like you stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Like stay, have continuity. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I I agree. I, I think there's too many times where they have random guys that the casual fans might not know, and then. Like the hardcore wrestling fans get mad at the casual when they're questioning who they are and asking for like a promo package. Like not everyone can watch wrestling Monday through Sunday, twenty four seven. Like some people can, and there's nothing wrong with that. But not everyone does it. No, you're right. What what is this? Kira, you got a new video? Oh, Kira, put, Kira's been editing for days, guys. Uh, what's up, Drew? Good to see you, Drew. You mean why? What's up, Mr. Ali? Good to see everybody here, guys. Hit those likes. You know what to do. We got Joe 62. Wood. Fifty-two. We got Joe Wood from um, Edge of Philly Sports. Man, thank you for being here. You, you know, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm not telling you leave. You, you're <laughs> doing a great job being here with us. But let's let's get this, Kira. Let's see, Kira. How'd you do this? What is this content? Oh, hold on a second. When so, you like to know? I do. Kira, put up a new video, guys, and let's you know what. Let's 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 break it here for you guys. Hold or on. you guys can just watch it on your own and give us the view. Oh, that's yeah. right. They should give us the views, right? Yeah. What's this shorts policy? What's this? Mm -hmm. The copyright protected content does not affect your short due to shorts. My okay. Okay. We got a shorts <laughs> policy. What happened there? I don't there? know what. What's up with that? What does that mean? They don't like us. I feel like that was useless. Like somebody else. I like, know, like a little organizations. Hold on. I want to see this live, Kira. I haven't seen oh this. My gosh. Leave me alone. I'm going to do it. I'm going to see what you say. Um, give me one second. Uh, share screen. Da -da 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 -da. Sound. There we go. Let's play, get it big. Let's see, guys. This is right now. This is breaking news, right? This is breaking news. Wait a minute. We haven't done this in a while. We got breaking news, everybody. Hold up a minute. Oh, oh sorry. Here, I'm not producing good, am I? There it is. Breaking news, breaking news for you guys. The world premiere of Kira Short. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Come spend the day with us in the home of WrestleMania 40, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. First stop, we had to see which spot had the best Philly cheesesteaks for WrestleMania weekend. So we tried out Pat's King of Steaks and Gino's Steaks. We met up with Mr. Ruta and went with Big Bucks Bobby and, of course, Magnificent Mikey. Both spots were really good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Then, since we're in Philly, you know we have to stop and see our friends at Suplex Fidgets Wrestling. This place is a wrestling fan's heaven. They have a show and a block party coming up, so definitely check them out. After that, we called the TNA show at the old ECW Arena. This is the place to be. WrestleMania weekend, they have shows, meet and greets, and a block party all coming up. WrestleMania weekend, we saw stars like Nick Nemeth, Ash by Elegance, Mustafa Ali, and so much more. Before heading home, you know Tantalize and Tony had to cut a promo at the Rocky Steps before driving past the home of WrestleMania 40 at Lincoln Financial Field. Thanks for watching. Kira, that was great. Yo, guys. Yo. Oh, I'm about to cry. Wow. The, the, the only thing I have to say is you have to go to Angelo's when you're here during Mania for cheesesteaks. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's. Well, there it is, guys. Angelo's on the list. Angelo's is, is got the best cheese to compete in all of the city. We will check it out. Mommy Rhea is on screen right now. Everybody needs to be We got to be quiet. Kira is That's a great video, Kira. Mommy's looking good. I hear Gru, huh? But you see, now I'm just getting impatient. Because WrestleMania is just around the corner. And Dom, don't corner. you think Becky should be giving me her full attention? Wow. I was just about to say that. Tell him. Tell him. They're going to boo Dom out the bill. I love it. I was just about to say. Becky Wait, is that real booze or is that, is that piped in? That's real. That's real. That's real, yeah. Becky. Oh, Here my she gosh. Comes. Becky Lynch. And she has a wrist brace on. She's had it on for like two weeks. Carpal tunnel. <laughs> Let me ask you this, yo. Is Becky Lynch a believable no. opponent for Rhea Ripley? 
At this point in time, the run that she's been on, I think she's the only believable one. Because they built Rhea up to be such this Unbeatable. unstoppable heel that Becky, I feel like, is the only one that is believable. I don't really know who's left. Yeah, I know. I would have I would have rather seen her and Nia again. I, I think I think we saw Rhea. Excuse me, I think we saw Becky from five years ago when she got her nose broken. I think she'd be more believable. I don't think I think her weight loss and her 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 CrossFit body, she doesn't look tough to me. She look a little different. She looks so little. Look how little she looks. It look she, she looks little. Lip filler. No. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I think. I don't want to be the man to say it, but uh, <laughs> you're you're allowed to say that because. But yeah, she definitely got lip filler. Who? Becky. Becky. Oh I man, it's okay. Look at me coming out here to you when you're fresh as a daisy. Do you fresh have as a to daisy. wait till you've wrestled a twenty minute match. For me to feel safe enough to come out and confront you because that's what you've done to me. Not to think the lips is good, isn't it? Not to mention that lip balm that no, makes your no, lips swell no, no. up. Rhea, Rhea, no, I, I could no. never. Have I you seen Rhea sing facing everybody at house shows? It's a phenomenon. Did you She's see Shayna? Her. Yeah, she asked for it <laughs> at the house show. Now, why would I want to compete before the biggest match of my career, huh? See, I don't have to get. I'd be so scared that my ear would rip. Week to get these people's attention. So it back together. Uh oh. I could quite easily, you know, just post a photo or a video online and watch these freaks eat it That's up. That's what she's talking about. I knew they were going to bring it up. Watch these freaks eat it up. Right, right, though. Exactly. It's just that easy for me to see Becky. I don't actually have to prove myself in this ring week after week. Like, so oh, are you oh interrupting God. mommy? Uh, listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. See, that's, oh my that's the problem. That is the problem, Rio. We we both have two very different interpretations of what a champion is. Uh -oh. To you, it's posting your ass on the internet for attention. Oh, oh. Wow. And don't you disrespect Rhea like to that. Me, it's busting my ass in the ring, night in, night out to prove myself. Rhea doesn't fight and prove herself? What are you saying right now, Becky? Oh. Because here's the thing, there's always going to be someone newer, someone younger, someone hotter. But the long game in this business is about skill and merit. Are you trying to say she doesn't have skill and merit? Survival. It is how you come back after you are in the muck, when the chips are down, when you're not the chosen one anymore. But you oh. haven't experienced that yet. What are you? Excuse my potty mouth. Dumb. Gonna give you a new experience. What is Becky saying right now? She act like she didn't start from the bottom in Australia, where they never go, and make it to the top. She's been through everything. She's been through everything, Dom. I get it. You're a survivor, Becky. I can't take that away from you, but you actually you remind me of something. She reminds she me of remind something. Of what? You're a cockroach. Oh, she called Becky a cockroach. No. You see, Becky, you're really hard to kill. Hard to get rid but of. But it's not impossible. <laughs> and at WrestleMania, I'm not going to take it that far. Because I want to leave you alive. So you can sit on your couch, watch me do what I do. And while you sit there, I want you to sit next to your daughter. <laughs> oh, she's bringing Rue into and this. She brought Rue into it. To listen to her call me mommy. mommy. Oh. <laughs> she, I fear she ate. Wow. Mommy. They got to turn Rhea face. She's so popular. Yes, me. That is your one pass. If you ever mention my daughter again, they will be the last words you ever say. Uh, come on, Becky. She's so for real. That's a fun line you can just throw out. You yeah. That that's just funny. No, it is funny. It's not funny to me. You got to understand. Is that my dad never got to meet my daughter? 
Why are you bringing your dad? And I know he was proud of everything that I have done in this ring, but I know the thing that he would be most proud of is the is she mother crying? that I've become. So that might be a joke to you, but it's not a joke to me. This is real. Love it. Oh, look, oh, look at look at look at Rhea with the And that might be a joke to you, but it is not a joke to me. Okay, Becky. Right. She pan to the title because she's still the champ. I don't what are you saying right now? What did it have to do with uh, anything? I'm not <laughs> putting two and two together here. I'm confused. Exactly. What is she's I'll tell you what you. I'll tell you what they're trying to do. They're trying to gain sympathy the for, for Becky and they want you to see the chinks in the armor you know you at mommy. First punch, there's no going back. Look how mommy does look as sure as herself as she did. Neither she one of us are ever gonna be the same again. You don't scare her, Becky. Dom is the hold back man. <laughs> oh, Dom step. Oh, step to stepping it, up to Becky. Oh. There we go. Finally, <laughs> this is what we needed. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, nice, nice. Oh! How dare you touch, touch her, Dom. Dom? How dare you touch her, Dom? Dom. Nice punch. Rita Ripley driving Becky's shoulder first into the post. That shoulder, that that post, that shoulder post look good. Count your days, Becky. No, watch out, cause Becky's coming. Count your days, Becky's Becky. Coming. Becky's coming. No more. So by the camera angle. They needed this to boost this match. This is cool. This is good. It's great. I love it. It's WrestleMania season. This Raw has been doing an incredible oh, job building the matches that have felt not important. Let's go. Come on, Rhea. Come on, Rhea. Rhea won. Rhea won that fight. Dom taking the bullets. Dom took a lot of hits. Yo, I think she truly suckered Dom in the face there. It looked good. <laughs> Don't touch her Dom Dom, okay? Look at, look at me she looks. Mommy does the small things. I love it. Um, I'm going to give that a draw. I liked it. That was good. Three one. Good segment. Uh oh. Tammy and Gable backstage. What's up with him in his suit? Tammy, hey. I want to talk about how we ended things last week. Hey, man, there's, not, there's nothing to talk about. It's fine. You said what was in your heart. You don't think I could beat Gunther. That's, that's fine. Gunther doesn't think I could beat Gunther either. You know what? In fact, he even said he doesn't think I could beat Bronson Reed out there tonight. So as far as I'm concerned, tonight's about Gunther. Tonight's about making him eat his words. Sammy, tonight's not about Gunther, okay? You've got Bronson Reed in front of you. This is what Gunther wants. He wants to ruin your focus. Take control, okay? And you're going to like let him? I like the manager part of you this. You need to focus on the task at hand right here. Get your head out of your ass. You know what? You're right. Uh -huh. You're actually right. WrestleMania is two weeks away. I know what I need to do tonight. You're right. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. All right. This Chad Gable turn heel. I thought Sammy was going to turn heel. Gable. Because... The three hundred thirty. This Chad Gable turn heel Reed. and cost Sammy, Sammy, Sammy Zayn the Sammy title. Right. That's, 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 that's a possibility. What if? I don't know. That's possible. But uh, guys, I'm gonna hop off. I appreciate you having me on. I got some uh, some homework I need to complete. But uh, Listen, I'm gonna. You are welcome anytime, Joe. Is Great having you here. Um, let me just give you one last plug before we go. I appreciate it. We got to get get after mania season's over and all the craziness is done. Get you on my show on Friday nights. 
Yeah, bro, listen, you know, whatever, you know, whenever you can fit me in, you know, I just wanted to have you on just because you're a good dude. I don't like a lot of people anyway. People people hate me too. So, <laughs> guys, Edge of Philly Sports, guys, once again, here is the link. Check them out. Um, they're on Twitter as well. Everything's in the freaking description, guys. And um, go to the um, and more right there. Go to wrestling. Boom. We will get rid of that ad. And boom. Here's everything, guys. And all the list of what's going on for the weekend is here. WrestleMania Guide and Roadmap. It's it's crazy, guys. It's, 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 you know, so much to do. So check it out. For sure. I appreciate the plug there. I really do. But, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll get you on my show after Mania is over. The craziness is done. And we've had time to breathe and decompress because it's going to be a whirlwind. It's going to be crazy, bro. I can't it, – listen – I love WrestleMania, but it's a lot of work coming up. Hopefully, you get some good content. I will do as well. But um, thank you for being here, Joe. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate it, guys. Have a great night. And uh, hopefully, I see you guys during Mania weekend. Definitely will, man. For sure. Have a great night, guys. You care, brother. Bye. That's cool. Joe. Joey Wood. JW. Joe. Joe. Yo, Joe. Yo, yo, Joe. Yo, Joey. Start the show. What you going to do? How you know? Yo, Joey. You know what you call a baby kangaroo a Joey? Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, actually, I feel like I knew that fact. A baby kangaroo is called a Joey. I that, don't know That why. fact was buried deep down in my brain. Is that right? I feel like, yeah. Okay. Um. Tonight. Uh, Jay versus Shinsuke might be the main event, which means we're going to see Bloodline. You got to leave. All right, Mir. We love you, bro. Good for being here. Becky said later, dude. It is the main event. Guys, don't forget to hit those, um, hit those likes. They put Jay and Shinsuke twice on this um, fightful plan. Well, twice to fight, twice to fun. Double your pleasure. Um, Is Jasmine still here? I don't know. Hey. Jasmine, I need to learn how to do my eyebrows. Me too. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I don't know if I can say this. I can't. There's a girl on my bus. Her eyebrows are wrong. Yeah. It one looks like this. It, her eyebrows look like she literally looks like she's the she's the rock every day. Maybe she her face is lopsided, or maybe she No, she draws them that way. Yeah, maybe her head is like tilted. When she was just like this. Or maybe that's her face. Well, sucks to be her mom. Well. I need my nails done for WrestleMania. Me too. I need to go to the hair store for WrestleMania. Me too. Honestly, I was going to straighten my hair, but I fear it's going to rain WrestleMania Me t- No, hey, bite your tongue, young lady. I looked at the weather report, Dad. Nobody cares about what you Let's say. look at the weather report. So the weather app shows you the weather I don't, 10, 10 days in advance. It doesn't, I don't believe it. It's always true. It's not. 10 days. I've been checking since last okay. month, but now it's mm-hmm. going to get a little more accurate mm-hmm. since it's closer to the actual mm-hmm. date. But let's just let's for funs and giggles. Let's just see. She meant the other word. What it's saying. I didn't mean that. Other, I don't Tonight. Philadelphia. In this very ring. Let's see. At night, it's going to be cold. We know that. That's why you wear a sweatshirt. You know? Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Not looking good, Dad. The 6th and 7th, it's not going to rain. So WrestleMania, it's not going to rain. But we're not getting above 60 degrees. Before it said 67, now it dropped to 60. Unbelievable. The 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th is supposed to rain. Mm-mm. Yeah, whatever you say. You're gonna change five days of rain. I will. Finally. Oh fuck!
Big Bronson Reed versus who was he going against? Sammy? Oh, let's go. I like this arena, the setup they have with the screens. You know, you're not on screen on, um, yes, I am. You know, she was tested for greatness. It's true. Look at this. <clears throat> Limited number of seats of tickets just released. So they added more tickets. Yeah, probably. Just like they did today. They're probably um, obscured. Obstructed view. Obscured. Obstructed view. Bum, 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 oh, it looks like he got a new tattoo. 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 Who did? Bronson. Godzilla vs. Kong Empire looks pretty good. Might go see it since I'm off Friday. Well, you go see that. I'll go see something else. Because I've been... You go see the mall. Oh, yes. Yes. That's perfect. <laughs> you know, it's perfect. I need a drink. Um. No. Okay. That means he's not coming back. Back elbow to the face of Big Bronson Reed. How's the show been tonight? I haven't been. I'm very bright. I should turn that down. Um. I haven't been here for the entire show, but the parts that I have been here for have been pretty darn good, pretty jam-packed, and lots of matches, and lots of storytelling for WrestleMania. None of these other marks, Kira, have press passes. What What other mark? What, what, what are you saying? <laughs> Sami Zayn's going up. High cross body gets caught by Bronson. He's fighting his way out of there. I don't blame you. Why is this match happening again, y'all? Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I um I am planning on wearing this hoodie for the rest of my life. Guys. Oh, I can't tell you because he might be watching. But I'll tell you guys on my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Um, thank you, Dahlia. You're amazing. Slammy Awards. You guys should definitely vote for the Slammy Awards. And anything that ju the judgment day is in, choose the judgment day. Okay. I, we all know Rhea's winning woman superstar of the year, but just come on. D oh my gosh, Sami Zayn gets shoulder blocked from the apron. Oh my gosh. His face is all scratched up. Yeah. Judgment Day hoodie. I'm never taking this off. Every outfit I wear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wearing this hoodie. And it's so crazy because Taylor Tony just bought this hoodie for me, but then they just released a Rhea Ripley shirt, a Wrestle Mommy. That doesn't even make sense. They should have made it Wrestle Mamia or Mommy Mania or something like that. They said Wrestle Mommy. Makes no sense. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, they just released. A WrestleMania 40 Rhea Ripley shirt. Well, it's for pre-sale or pre-order or whatever. But I don't trust that pre-order stuff. It's probably going to be sold out. Hopefully, they have it at the Superstore, though. But I'm not going to buy it. 
I'll wait. Lee Major, thank you for coming on to the show. I do not want to talk about the dogs. It's a very sore, touchy subject for me, and I might end up crying on screen. So, <laughs> did you not want to talk about that? But happy thoughts. Um, yeah, Raw has been a solid, from what I've seen, Raw has been a solid eight and a half out of ten. That's a pretty good rating. That's like a B minus. <laughs> Or like a B, yeah, B minus, right? And then 89 is a B plus. It's a B minus. Other content. Mark, I mean, who is Mark? Bake fresh. I mean, I still don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Sorry, buddy. But I am excited for Mania. I have yet. I feel like I keep writing down all the events. But I still have no idea what we're doing. Like, I don't know where anything is. How far away everything is from each other. What times we have to be at these places. And they just keep adding more stuff onto WrestleMania weekend. And it's just way too much. Way too much. Sorry. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to go with the flow when it comes to WrestleMania. I would love to do a vlog because I kind of did a vlog with that short. But I feel like with WrestleMania, it's just going to be so much editing. (laughs) I hate editing. Because I hate because I have to watch through everything and then cut everything up. That's the worst part of it. But I would like to have a vlog out for WrestleMania weekend. It'd probably be, I mean, I'll probably release it like the day after everything has settled down. So probably like Tuesday, May, May, um, April 9th, the day after the Raw after Mania. We'll see. We will see. It's going to be very hectic. But I do kind of want to get my nails done. I'm probably just going to get like French, French press on nails but press ons they fall off easily and with like all the stuff that i'm doing like carrying all the equipment and everything i fear i might just have to have spare nails in in my purse but yeah one time i put super glue or gorilla glue on my nails and they still didn't stay so probably gonna have to cement those things down all right we're back live Bronson Reed is catching the chops from Sami Zayn. This match better wrap up in the next four minutes. Jeez, Bronson Reed, he's got scratches all over his face and his nose is bleeding. He looks beat up. Someone stole my salad dressing. Let me tell you about this house, guys. I'm going to say this live on my show because we're family. Never let your adult children oh, Gunther coming out. who have no jobs live with you. Deadbeats. So they came so Gunther came out for Sammy's match, but didn't come out for his boy Giovanni's match. Maybe if you came out with his match, he would have won. I do want to do re-inspired nails. I kind of want I I have to look online because I feel like I, I won't be able to find anything in store. But I don't know, like purple and like silvery metal grunge type of nails. I don't know. And it can't be too long, too, because, again, I'm doing a lot of work. But we're not talking about nails. What QR code? Um, Is that cheese in there? Yeah, I can't eat cheese. What kind of cheese? Feta? Yeah. Why can't you eat the cheese? Not in my diet. One, two. Do you see Bronson? First of all, he has a whole bunch of scratches on his face. The camera does not do it justice. Well, it did it justice a couple minutes ago, but it looks like he got attacked by a cat. (laughs) 
Sammy getting the chance. Am I correct to assume that this this is yours? Or this is oil and vinegar on my salad. Olives. Can't eat the tomatoes either. What's wrong with tomatoes? The acidity. Parasite cleanser. Tornado DET. Sammy is. Could it be over? Sammy's got to win this because he's going to lose a mania. Oh, Sammy just got turned inside out. Oh. What a senton. Tsunami. He's he's getting ready for a tsunami. You better roll out of there, buddy. Is he going to catch? Is he going to lose? Because you're distracted. He lost. Oh, my. He lost. He better still lose at Mania. He's definitely winning at Mania now. Wow. Ew, Bronson, stop. Wow. I wouldn't take him yeah, seriously Brian either. Yeah, Brian Blackman, my B Cannon, he wasn't at um he wasn't at Elimination Chamber because he had a kid. Speaking of Buddy Matthews. Buddy was on live today. Nobody mentioned Buddy Matthews. Well, you know, I got to integrate my Judgment Day business in there. Buddy was on live today. He said that he was moving. Obviously, him and Rhea. They're moving. And, oh, Jey Uso. <laughs> Get woke. Who solo? Why did it sound like the crowd said solo altogether? And Jimmy, what are y'all doing here? Yeet. No yeet. What are y'all doing here? I feel like Shinsuke Nakamura has nothing better to do but to put himself into random storylines or random matches. Because even when he did his thing with Seth Rollins, I mean, with Cody Rhodes, it was still lackluster because because Cody couldn't care less about what was happening with his with Shinsuke. Can't care less about this salad with no dressing. You said oil and vinegar was on there. That's not dressing. Yes, it is. No yeet. Dad, this is how. Oh yeah, and wedding planning. They said they're planning their wedding. He said something else, too, that they were doing, that he was really busy. No yeet. Also. No eat. You're eating. That is. Also, someone in the chat asked him what was his greatest accomplishment. And in my head, I was like, duh, Rhea. I didn't think he was actually going to say it. I thought he was going to, like, take it seriously. And obviously, that is serious. But he said, Rhea, marrying Rhea will be his biggest accomplishment. Whoa. Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> I just love all things Judgment Day. Sorry. And I do consider Buddy an honorary Judgment Day member because he's with Rhea Ripley. But anyway, now we can talk about what's actually happening. I just had to get the little tidbit out there. Can you eat the peppers and the onions? Onions, yes. The peppers, I guess so. Eliminate. All right. You know that's from? <laughs> Hello? No. Do you watch TikTok? No. Oh. Well. Oh, I didn't hear that part where he said he was going to be at Mania. Someone asked him what would be his dream match at Mania. He said, I'm not going to say at Mania. I'm going to say at a Mania. And he said him versus Aleister Black or Malachi Black. I'm not going to acknowledge that comment. <laughs> Why would I do that? You don't see how happy I am talking about Judgment Day? Get out of here. You see, I'm just wanting to eat this salad. We all see it, but salad is still food. So you're not going to die from eating the salad. What else could you have eaten? Pickles. 
Can you eat fish? Nope. Can you eat any kind of seafood? Nope. Any kind of meat? Nope. So you're on a vegetarian well, diet? No, well, according to... According to my calculations. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Mikey said that in the car, guys. Um, I can have range-free stuff. So you can have chicken? But I haven't found any. I'm pretty sure it's easy to find. If you... No, it's really not. Have you looked for it? We looked. Did you look it up? Looked it up. Um, come on. So you're on a vegetarian diet, basically. Vegetarians live. Vegan. Who knows? Vegans live. You'll be fine. It's okay. Bro, see, um, UNC, you're right. It's like watching paint dry right now. Me eating this salad, bro. Listen. Sometimes the Ten Lives of Tony Wrestling Show has a dead spot, and this is definitely it. Hello, I was literally just talking about Judgment Day, giving you guys some insightful information. Listen, I'm not mad at this guy; he's telling the truth. This show's boring right now, and I mean the I heck, you guys. I, I don't mean that show. I mean this show. I mean who who is this for a living? What maniac in their in their mind figured us to go on a freaking cleanse? Dahlia likes Caesar salad. Can you eat Caesar salad? No, because of the dressing, because of the cheese. Well. <laughs> oh. They're, they're recapping what happened with Rhea, Dom, and Becky, and Pat. Oh! That punch looked, I mean, that punch looked so real. Why the heck? <gasps> Rhea. I mean, yeah, Rhea. Make her pay. Becky, count your days. Okay. Wow. Wow. Rebecca Quinn. That's a real name, you know. Mm -hmm. Sami Zayn is angry with Chad because he lost clean. You look like a fool. <laughs> Let me in. This is crunchy. <laughs> Chad's going to be his manager. Plants the seeds of doubt. What if he helps him this whole way and then costs him the match? Smart. Like, he walks out with him like he's a manager, and then he's, like, ringside. He's like, yeah, you got this, Sammy. And then, boom. You just lost. Oh, then we can talk. Yeah, that's that's definitely going to happen. He's going to turn. Look at these camera angles. They're go. Look at that. You're not going to turn around? They don't notice the cameras right behind them? Wow, the New Day and, and DIY versus Judgment Day. All four members. Oh, my. In Brooklyn. And Roman? Oh, can you wait? We're doing that screen. <laughs> Pat McAfee doesn't have the quick can. So Cody said that it was a promise, but I read tonight I'm going to make you bleed. <laughs> I would just have to rewatch that like 10 times. I thought tonight. tonight. Yeah. When I stepped away? Yeah. Wow. That's all that happened. He literally went up there. It took like felons with Jey Uso. 
Get that W. Get that W. Yeet. No yeet. So we're going to get another face-off, obviously, because Seth, Cody, and Jay's in the... And they're all in the building. And Jimmy Solo... Jimmy and Solo are in the building. Jay also... I'll be back, people. These road tickets are outrageous. These road tickets are outrageous. I'm looking at them right now. Huh. Listen, I think Raw's been off the chain tonight. I didn't even realize. I didn't even see The Rock. I, I was on the phone with my son, Anthony, because he has a family emergency. And um, thanks for letting me in that The Rock showed up. Joe didn't fill you in? No. The chat didn't fill you in? Nobody told Tan Lies and Tony a darn thing. Yeah, literally all he did. Well, I didn't see Cody, obviously. But... They played music? It took him forever to get to the so ring. Let me get this right. The Rock was in Chicago, and they had no CM Punk Rock face off. No. Wow. It took him forever to get to the ring. He got in the ring. They had a stare off. The crowd was chanting, and then he and did man. the he did the little whisper and left right after, and he got booed. Because why would you do that? <laughs> and then backstage, they asked him. They were like, "What did you say to Cody?" And he was like ask Cody. And then obviously Cody didn't answer. So that's literally all of that. You gotta give The Rock credit. Yeah, he's making the rounds. Mm-hmm. 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 I didn't see it. I didn't I didn't I didn't have faith in him that he could do it, but he's doing it. So good, great job. So Kira, did you see the ticket prices? Mm-mm. This is the cheapest. Oh dear. $140 to sit here. <laughs> let, let the chat see this. So, guys, look that, at this that crap. Is a little outrageous. Did you try any of the other ones? $140 bucks are right here, guys. They can they can see. <laughs> oh gosh. Right here. They're crazy. So let me ask, what other what other sites are there, Kira? Um, StubHub. Want to try StubHub? You're try StubHub. You're like a well, you are a grandfather. Let's try StubHub. StubHub. Stop taking the mouse. StubHub. We don't want to see WrestleMania tickets. Just type in WWE. SeatGeek. WWE Raw or WWE? Just type in WWE Raw. There it is. StubHub, SeatGeek, Tick. 114. That's not bad. What is it in? Oh, 81. That is. Oh, that's three day pass. What right. is that? What? The heck is that? That must be that must be oh. SmackDown, NXT, and Raw. This right? is five, six, seven, eight. That's the fifth to the eighth. What is that? It's SmackDown. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, Cincinnati. It's Mohegan Sun. What is that? This is the fifth. Look at that. $83. That's cheap. Smackdown. 
What's on Saturday? NXT Stand and Deliver. Oh. Well, anyway, let's get back to Raw. Brooklyn. That's cheaper here. This one right here. What's this? 272. Still... Look at these obstructive view seats. They're crazy. 378. Oh. Are people crazy to pay this for a freaking raw SmackDown? Well, it's jam packed. No, Dom and Andrade were talking. Wow. I wonder what Andrade has to do with this whole Judgment Day situation. We're Yo, we're live on the show. What's up? Oh, how are you still live? <laughs> it's Monday. What do you guys online? No, I got I got actually wrestling question for you. Okay, you're live on the show. Ask this is guys, this is Fail Source AK Pat. Ask your wrestling question, sir. So, so let me preface this to the fans out there that I am not the biggest wrestling fan anymore. I haven't been since the NWO days. Okay. But there's a documentary coming out on A and E about the tribal chief. Yeah. And uh they they talk about how he came up with his catchphrase, the acknowledge me thing, which I only know because of Mikey, honestly. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> So what I don't understand is the the comment section because I of course click the comments because I don't know anything, and the first like ten comments are all. Uh, you, do you curse on your show? Go ahead, go ahead. You're fine. They all talk shit on Roman, like he he doesn't win on his own. He only wins when he has help, and he has the least amount of defensive of his titles than any other major champion. Is that accurate? It is accurate. Roman Reyes has not won a match by himself in three years. So let me ask you a question. Yes. And this is the part I don't understand. And again, I apologize to the fans. Um, it's it's a how do, how do I say this without pissing anyone off? It's scripted to an extent. Like anything that happens to him or for him is in a plan. Correct. So people are angry at him for following the rapist's plan. Uh, oh, sorry, Vince McMahon's plan. Wow. Well, we just got canceled. <laughs> um, correct. Well, Vince is not in charge anymore. And guys, the views and guys, the views of the caller are not the views of the Tan Lines and Tony Rutting show. Apologies. Okay. And just so he so said he just so you guys know he said he didn't say that word. He said, can he say racist? I don't know. There's no, there's no better way to put that. Uh, anyway. So, yes, people are mad at Roman because he follows the storyline. But isn't that his job? Yes. See, people don't like to break down the fourth wall, so they want to believe it's real, which it is. It's real to me. But. So, so no, no, and I get that. So, like, when I was a kid, when I watched wrestling, right, Stone Cold and The Rock went out head to head all the time. They hated each other. They fought each other. It was a great deed right mm -hmm. but the, the 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 truth of the matter is they were great friends outside of the ring that's speculation but possibly yes <laughs> well i mean they've talked about it before maybe not great friends is not the right word you're breaking, they hate each other you're like breaking down, you're breaking down you're breaking on the fourth they, wall you're breaking on the fourth wall guy you guys keep going no, no, no i'm just trying to understand like is, is that what it is is it just like you're living in that moment and you want to be in that moment some people still think that it's not scripted it can't be true, right? It's true. It's damn true. Okay. Well, you know, I don't want to... Well, I guess I just ruined it for everyone. I apologize. Uh, spoiler. But like, I, I, I know the ending of... When I watch a Marvel movie, I know this, the heroes are going to win at the end. doesn't mean I don't enjoy the show while I'm watching it. So, like, you don't have to live in the realm of, like, expecting it to be true in order to enjoy it. Like, you can just enjoy it for the entertainment value. Wrestling's always been way over entertaining. Like, that's what it was. Mysterio was right. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I apologize for interrupting your show. I thought you were off by 10, so my bad. That's on Fridays. But no, it's a good question, and it's good to see someone, a layman, who doesn't don't understand wrestling, ask a good question. That was actually a good question. Uh, you know, I was, I was, that's why I called you. I was like, man, this is like, I don't understand. And they have, like, Paul Heyman, who uh, I didn't know he was still around. Yes, Paul. Is Michael is, Cole still around too? Michael Cole is still commentating. Yes, he is. There's no way. Yeah, there's way. 
He's got to be like 60 now. They were in their 30s when this started. Paul Heyman's same age as me, 55, 56. Um, There's no way you're 55. Let's not lie on on your, your broadcast right now, please. Wow, wow. Once again, taken down by the man. Great. Not a day over 71, you're, and you know. Gary, you're wonderful, just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> you don't get paid enough either. I know. <laughs> then send, you, you know what? If you feel that, then send some Super Chat money. Thank you very much. I, first of all, every time I do it, it's for Mikey, not her, because she, <laughs> she can do a job. Mikey can't. That kid's working. He, need, he needs more flash toys. Child, child labor laws are, are not in effect in this house. <laughs> well, she's not a child. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, Bug. Appreciate your time. Um, no, no problem, bro. We appreciate the call. Guys, this is the caller, Pat, AK Fail Source. Great call. Great call. All right, bye. Goodbye, sir. I was impromptu. He said, I don't know, Paul Heyman. I don't know around. if CMUNC is being sarcastic because he said this, this is like watching paint dry. Wow. This is fun. That's that's the vibe that, that he's is giving. That, is that sarcastic? Wow. wow. This, this is, is fun. fun. I like his style, though. <laughs> Listen, what do you do? What does he want to do? He wants to talk about the commercial, the EST commercial with Cricket? Maybe he wants to. Maybe. Maybe. Let me ask you a question. If you saw a blue chick like that walking down the street, would you talk to her? She looks freaky. Yes, I would if she was smiling and talking like a normal human. You yeah. know, I'm so tired of you people saying that because you don't want to get canceled. You won't tell the truth. I would kick, what? Her, I would kick her in a blue head. No, if she was smiling and said, hi, saw, how are if you? If you saw a blue, head, a blue headed cricket chick walking down the street, you talk to her? I, I mean, I wouldn't go up to a normal person, but if she was nice and acted like a human... I kicked the blueberry out of her teeth. What's there to be you? scared of? Look at that. There's a lot of ugly people in this world. And I don't get scared. That that that's a adorable little Jin Ping. Niho. Niho. Sorry. Niho, how you doing? Is that the president? Is that is that I don't know that much about the world. Is that Xi Jinping? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's Pat. Only for the producer. Thanks, for his... <laughs> I'm doing it. The thing. That was Pat. Everybody. Thank you for. And by the way, Dance Fam is his son's account because he mm -hmm. took his account over. So you've said his son's a great dancer. By the way, guys, great, great dancer. And thank you for the super chat. And every time you get a super chat, you get one of these. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I, Kira? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Nada. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Magnificent Mikey, and thanks for the. Thanks for the super chat, Bobby. Ding, ding. All right, we're back live. And, um... Yao Ming is all elite. Wow. Jey Uso is finally getting the upper hand. I actually haven't been watching the show, so I don't know if he was in the lead or not, but whatever. Nice super kick. kick! Oh, my. Um, bloody knee. Yeah. Who is this? Who's coming? Here they come. Solo and who you call it? Solo and Jimmy. Well, where, where's, where's, uh, where's, uh, where's now where's we need Seth? Cody and Seth. Oh, there they are. Why are they running? Bloodline was cool, calm, and collected. There was no need to run. And I'm surprised Cody didn't change because usually when he gets it's into a kerfuffle, yeah. Oh. oh my. That corner post has been getting a lot of. Oh, oh Drew McIntyre. The heck are you doing here? <laughs> Seth Rollins, you have your Dude, eye future shock, future shock. on the wrong thing. Future Shock DDT. Wow. Business picked up tonight. Wow. That was jam packed. Jam packed action. Oh, Shinsuke from behind. I am very cute. Thank you. Talking about Mikey. Oh. What a super kick. Yeet. Look at the yeet. He's a spear. Oh. He he, he has he uh he tricked us. Jey Uso won. Wow, Poor Shinsuke. Michael jumped the gun. Poor Shinsuke. He said he's spear. Yeet. No, but it looked like he was going for a spear. It didn't I would have thought he was going for a spear. He did an extra little Bounce off the rope. 
Jey Uso won. Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't know. I remember Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke one of the only people that I knew from NXT because I didn't watch NXT and I would sing his song all the time. His everyone used to sing his song, and now he's. I don't know what he has become. Is it just me, or I'm not? Bo- I'm not sold on this this match yet. Jimmy versus Jay, are you insane? Yeah, I'm not sold. Oh, backstage. I love the, these backstage shots that they have well, going on. Cups going. Jimmy and uh, Cody Rhodes are going at it back there. The match is over, Cody. You can stop now. Going oh, outside. Get out of here. Oh, Solo. Goodness gracious. Where's Seth? Samoan spike him. Wow. The, the rock. rock. The Wow. Rock. The Rock's getting his hands dirty? What the heck? Yo, this is great. He's still going. He's oh! Still going. My God! Oh, my God! Mr. I, I'm, I'm appalled. Rock, I didn't know you had it in you. The, oh my gosh. Yo, this heel rock this is, is good. insane. The rock stuck around for the whole show. But listen, but listen. You don't see you don't see him breathing hard, do you? Okay. Everyone knows that he can fight, Dad. Where's Seth? Oh, look at his bust. How convenient. You've got my attention. Why wow, he cursed. They're outside in the rain. In the rain. This is incredible. This is gold. Ah! He probably paid a lot of money for that suit. That's his bust. Yeah. Why don't Brandy come out? No. Oh, it's just, they're still going. What time is it? Look at Stone Cold. It's look five at Stone Cold minutes. And I love it. That's that's foreshadowing. We still have five whole minutes. Where the heck is Seth Rollins? Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill him. Over? Throw him into his own bus. Oh, I'm just realizing that Cody is getting. He's got sunglasses on the rain. This is crazy. Really? No one's going to help him? We're seeing Punk. No? No help? Yeah, where's Punk? Where's Seth? Where's Drew? Where's Jay? Mama Rhodes. Wow. I poor Cody. Gosh. Is he going to fight at Mania with another injury? Wow, this is crazy. He's going to reveal another injury at his Mania match? Whose car is that? Maybe it's The Rock's car. He's going to throw him over? Cody's just taking it. Like, not one fight back. Not one defense move. Uh, wow. Wow. Poor Cody. I would have crawled out of there quick. Look at the dog. The dog. 
He gets Aww. It. He's busted. Oh, he's still going. Rock. Mama Rose. I said, it's okay. Wow. Really, no one? This whole time, oh no one? Oh, my God. He's got a Mama Rose. Wait. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh he's rubbing his blood on the weight belt fight back Cody what? yeah he's just taking it like I am shocked. On Johnson's hands. Hard times. <laughs> the glasses are coming off. Learn you about hard times. Wow. He up -bomb. He's cursing at him. And they know. <laughs> or maybe this was pre-recorded. No. Why would you say He's no? Ew, ew. Ew. They're going poor attitude. He really beat him up for like seven minutes straight. What on God's green earth just happened? <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson just beat Cody Rhodes up for a solid <laughs> seven to eight minutes. No help from Drew. No help from yeah. Punk. No help from Seth. No help from Jay. I don't know what to think of this. What the heck was that? That was so unnecessary. Mama Rose, Mama Rose has got, she's. Ah. So I'm legitimately scratching my head. When your brain really starts to work hard, you know that the, the hair follicles, even your bald so follicles, that they get up like, like goosebumps. This is a legit head scratch. What? I try. Well, that just got me way more excited. Do for you us notice again. how much the blood means in WWE? No. What do you mean? The bloodline? <laughs> What's that mean? Dice, I'm speechless. Rollins can't be trusted. Wow. Yo, Mike is right. Raw was off the chain. Indeed. 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 In you got to give The Rock credit. Yeah, I didn't know The Rock would be that involved until WrestleMania, at least. Sorry. Listen. I mean, we haven't seen a, not a long time. Look, this has definitely changed. Guys, I said this over a year ago. I wish I could find the actual clip when I did it. That the bloodline, excuse me, that the attitude era is going to come back. This is attitude era stuff, man. This is crazy. 
in the chat before we leave is everybody is shocked at us that what just happened at that ending. We haven't seen them like that in years. Bobby missed the entire thing. What a jabroni. I'm sure he heard everything. He could visualize. They're cussing to using blood. Yeah. He, he used the F-bomb a couple of times. That was crazy. Can you... So, you know what they just did? Definitely have a cook. Yeah, since the Nexus destroyed the ring, you're right. They you know what they did right there? They made Monday Night Raw in Barclay Center a must-see. It was already must-see. <laughs> um, now, wow. Well, guys. Wow. Did you see what happened? Did you see what happened? Okay, do it after the show. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> you you wait. We'll show you guys. Hey, turn it down. Listen, guys. Um, that's actually insane. Yes, this isn't on Netflix yet. Hinting the more adult product. Yep. Once you go to Netflix, it's all. It's all. It's. I miss Punk's whole. It's attitude. Thing. So. It's attitude. Guys, tonight was incredible. Mm-hmm. First of all, before we go, let's thank let's thank our guest tonight. How about our guest, huh, Kira? How about it? How, how about it? I, I put the see what I did? I put the black up there. Mm. Did it. Let's thank Joey Wood, guys, from Edge of Philly Sports. He was a great guest tonight. Watch Raw with us. It was awesome. He was awesome. Yes, hit those likes. Kira, before we leave, let me ask you a question. You are younger, so you know you didn't have been, you weren't part of the Attitude Era. In your years of watching wrestling, have you ever seen them close out a show like that? Seriously. Um, you know, I have the memory of a goldfish, so if even if they did, I wouldn't remember. But I don't think they have. Honestly, I haven't even seen anything that Graphic. extreme. <laughs> extreme. At least not in a long time. That was insanity but i enjoyed every second of it oh, well obviously i don't know why cody didn't have not one defense mechanism <laughs> he just took it all he took every punch every well no spoilers because big bucks bobby's in the room but that was brutal brutal guys thanks for watching um check out the content kira's been doing a lot of shorts we got more stuff coming up Guys, Big Bucks Bobby comes in here and messes up everything. Um, we're legitimately on the road to WrestleMania. Twelve days away. Twelve days away. Twelve days away. One week from Saturday. One week from Saturday. That's insane to think about, isn't it? We're only nine days away from Sam Roberts at the Helium Comedy Club. That means I got to get my hair done in seven days. For only 10 days. I need to get my hair done, too. Yeah. I think you should dye it purple. Me, too. Take us out. Well, guys, thank you for coming to the show tonight. Thank you to oh, Joey it, Wood, it, it of country, course. Country again? I like to switch in and out of oh. it. But, you know. Um, what is this? 12 days. I know. Um, I know, babes. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys on Friday. Are we doing Wednesday? We'll see. We'll see. Put on your post notifications so you know when we're going live. Tonight. What do you give tonight's show a 10 lives and 10 out of 10? Ooh, we haven't had one of those by on yet. Raw. Yeah, on Raw. No, damn. Wait, you could give it a 10. Damn. I, I, I gave it an eight and a half. Actually, I gave it that before the whole rock thing happened, so I'm gonna mm-hmm. bump it up to a nine. Nice. But yeah, thank you guys for coming in. If you guys are new, I hope you guys stayed like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 10k, acknowledge on the road to WrestleMania, acknowledge, and all. Other things that are happening that weekend. A lot of stuff. And yeah, just put on your book. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Okay.
So, are are you done? Can I say this stuff? You think you had a good time? Yes. 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 Is this still going? Is it? Yes. Yes. Is this still going? Yes. But yes. Yes. It was still going. Okay, wow. I think it stopped. All right. All right. Make sure you guys hug your families, kiss your families. I mean, love them. Pray to God every day because you're not promised tomorrow. And as always, do what we all do best. And that. Inbox me for the merch and stay. Yay! Penalizing.